unmute on Discord. Jesus. Hello, oh, hello, <coughs> hello. Hi. Hi. I miss hello. You. Hi. How are we? Great. Good. 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 Welcome out. To drink some water. Yep, some baby nice baby water. Baby water. Hydrate or dehydrate. <laughs> <laughs> Off to a great start. Yeah, the uh, well, he's ready. Welcome out to episode 30, everyone. Good to see you. Um, we, <laughs> we've made it to 30, yeah. Um, you're currently in the, the city of Berka, and we left off on a pretty fun note, uh, with what you were searching into. Before we get into anything, has anyone got anything they wish to announce or shout out? I don't think so. Okay, then <laughs> today's recap was a little different. Today's recap what? was not written by me. Uh, Gabe, who would you like to read today's recap? Ooh, ooh. I'm vetoing myself, by the way, uh, because you know, <laughs> I can. Wow. Eldred, Brizzy. <laughs> I want you to do your best. I want you to do your best Gabe impression. Yeah, no. right. No. <laughs> yeah. No. True, it's written from Please. Gabe's perspective. Now it it's is. gonna be. <laughs> Please. Please, Brizzy. <laughs> She's getting a character. Am I Gabe yet? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Own it. I'm here for it. No. I can't do a game of Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I believe in you. <laughs> Brizzy, I will give uh, five subs to your channel the next time you go live. And you can do it right now. <laughs> it's worth, that's worth it. For, even for the attempt, that's worth it's it. It's too long. What? I can do it is like line. two sentences longer than Joe's. It's, but fair. in an impression? That, okay, just read, read, read it in your voice. a real person, yeah. I get it. <laughs> yeah, no, real people. I mean, I'll look. What about I'll Draven? Do can you do no, Draven's voice? Men. Yeah, can you do Draven's voice? Well, let's turn it back on. Yeah, I was going to say, get that, get yeah. that bass back on. <laughs> yeah. That's I like when he sounds it. like a demon. Yeah. That's how Elgin I'm going to take your soul. <laughs> That's fair. That's accurate. I just watched the for three Evil Dead movies for the first yeah, time. It's, yeah, that's so. very Evil Dead uh, voice. Damn it, fine. I'll read it. Y'all are... <laughs> Yeah, yeah but can you do it in the style of Gabe? <laughs> Yo! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't, I haven't said a damn thing. <laughs> you were procrastinating saying something, though. You could make Mo say something. <laughs> no, I respect Mato. That sounds weird. Wait, hold on. Yeah, well, hold, hold on. on. That sounds really bad. I respect Brizzy. <laughs> I respect Brizzy, but I feel like Brizzy I can bribe. I don't think I can bribe Tomato. That's fair. <laughs> if I try to be like, mm, I don't need money. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm good. Uh, you know, I'm gonna just read it before I put myself in a deeper hole than those uh, orcs. Can you read orcs it in we found? a Brizzy impression? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Baby water, right? <laughs> oh, Eldred. Okay, man. No, okay. Nope. Any baby water, right? The city of Berka is hella weird. The party discovered that there's this little changeling dude from the city that Lena is from that Thor demolished. Changeling dude is sitting at a pot of frigger, I think that is pouring into a pool down below. Anyone who drinks the water that's falling from the pot de-ages almost randomly. That's how we got baby water. It seems to be happening from a changeling dude dipping his feet in the water. Gross. He was also eating nuts or something. Also, Lena is a changeling. What? But not like called a changeling. Called a... Oh, do the word. A knockin'. Thank you, LG. Uh, also, there's a bar under the waterfall, which is dope. We found our favorite Radagar, can't spell that word, Crime Lord Spring. There's a back room with a code phrase about asking about gold wine. Whoa, very Bond. Uh, there's also a dude who buys and sells secrets and is related to the secret keepers. Funky, well, we don't know they're a dude. They wore a mask. Uh, there's also all kinds of weird chops and people gambling on baby water. And also Juno hates it and is apparently only like 21. Uh, Eldred might turn into a baby, baby and thankfully we leveled up. Uh, hell yeah, recap. Mic drop. <laughs> Uh, you, 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 have to say drop if you, <laughs> you have to say mic drop if you're reading this. That includes you, Gabe. Okay, back to you, Joe. <laughs> Thank you for passing on, Gabe. Thanks yep. for writing the yep. recap. Um, yep, my pleasure. So do we level up now or? 
The level up, yeah, I, I think that might have been ad libbed. I don't remember that <laughs> bit in the. Uh, in we can the, wait till the log rest. Yeah, yeah no. we can wait till yeah. after this like big Which, momentous milestone happens this session. Yeah, you can you can you can level up in your next long rest. It's just unfortunately entering into the city of Berka. Your characters realize they have run to the curse of no sleep yet for the next. Oh. Uh, <laughs> I just realized Discord showed when the last time a message was edited. I thought I was gonna <laughs> <laughs> learn that just now. <laughs> I also put you in my, uh, my your recap into my notes, so I saw the original. <laughs> so I was following along. Nice. Uh, so Oops. you've just exited from the tavern itself. You've just um, underwent going out of the actual underwater tavern located at the bottom of the waterfall, and you're walking through the long tunnel that leads back up into the main city of Berka. You've bought a couple of magical items. You've Made a couple of deals, seen a, a little bit of gambling, but now you're heading back upstairs to see what else Berg has to offer, along with what you plan to do with the information that you've discovered. Hmm. Passing through the underground tunnel, coming out of the staircase and moving back into the city of Berka. What's the first destination? What's your first objective? Okay. So, are we dealing with this now? Might as well. Are we doing it ourselves? Or are we going up a ladder? A metaphorical ladder and kind of also up in the city. Up an actual ladder, right, because it is high. Hmm. I like the idea of kind of seeing what the secret keepers might know. Also, I would like to know if there is a reward for taking care of things because then I would like to be like oh we'll take a look at it oh look we fixed it where's our reward hmm. I would help people for no reward but <laughs> it is way nicer when you get something for it just keep in mind it may be a case of if we uh, do uh, if there is a reward it may be too we might have to present the person who's been causing it we may have to hand this uh, the, the fellow over uh, to the city for I don't know trial or law or judgment or whatever so that may be something that uh, if we want to claim well, maybe I don't know but just something to be aware of maybe okay I mean I think it doesn't hurt to ask like already I've said eight times to different people like I'm new here what's going on you have baby water that's crazy right like we can ask a secret keeper and they can tell us or not tell us and then we will know what we want to do next yeah I remember somebody saying that the secret keepers were uh, very concerned about what was happening and were looking for a way to stop it. So I imagine that there must be some sort of reward or uh, it would certainly earn us good favor to do them a good deed. Let's go see then. Hmm. All right. Okay. So you're heading to the secret keepers? Uh, yeah. Yes. They are located... Uh, uh, <clears throat> substantially so, in the Temple of Frigga, which is built into the statue um, kind of right beneath her shadow, on the shadowed end of it. Um, so behind her heels there's a kind of a building there. Almost looks like she's kind of stood in front of a step. You can see this kind of wider hall um, which has kind of been, it's, it's a clay built home and, and it hardened and kind of stood the test of time. It looks like it's kind of been moss is growing on the outside which they don't trim down for extra insulation and you can see where they've kind of actually built like wooden panels and kind of thickened wooden panels with the bark across the top of it. Quite a large building just at the back of um, of the statue itself. And you can see going around into it, um, just across in this kind of building opposite, it, they've got like a lovely garden, despite it being quite dark and in the shadow for most of the day. Um, they've got a lovely garden that grows despite the fact that there's not much sunlight. And just across from that, you can see a pretty open... Um, uh, ward for 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 uh, new mothers and their children and kind of like helping raise them almost like a nursery uh, it's just across the road uh, the kind of almost not even the road just like the grass and the garden of it but going around that way you would see a couple of the secret keepers um, the the main majority of the secret keepers wear very similar masks these kind of very thin lip and thin eyes with no other features of these kind of very stone like masks and hoods up uh, they almost look cultist like in the way that they dress and um, to kind of conceal any portion of their skin or identity. Uh, they mostly also are the same frame. Occasionally you'll see one that's a little larger, a little taller, or a little smaller, but it seems like they're built to mostly look 
almost autonomous. Um, and when you go closer, you can see that the ones who actually stood in front of the temple itself are wearing kind of a thick leather um, on the front of their robes. It almost blends in with the same color. And on their belts, they kind of wear belts with like small rounded shields, very small shields, um, the type you might find in like gladiatorial arenas. And along with that, these like long, thin blades on the other side of them. They stand with their hands kind of tucked together, almost like bouncer-like. They kind of, they wrap their hands in front of themselves. Hmm. And they stand in front of the temple, which is open. And one looks to your group. What is your purpose here? Um, I don't, well, we just kind of want to, we're if new you to are the here city, to tell want to secrets, know what this... you may go inside. Oh, okay. What if we want to, like, ask about things and not tell a secret? We want to just... If you wish to ask about what? All right, I'm just going to say it. We're totally new here. We just got here. And, like, what is going on with the baby water thing? Like, it seems like, I don't know, there's, like, guards around. And, like, what is all that? Is that, it seems like something, it seems like you guys are, like, in charge. And so you would know. They look at you for a moment and then <clears throat> you're referring to the water that is cursing our people. Yeah, it's like turning people to babies. It doesn't have a name. I don't... I'm sorry. We've not named it. Maybe we are currently investigating the situation. But, like, it's safe to, like, drink other water. Everything is good. All other water is fine. Okay, Urko good. Is That's good. Not entirely supported by just the water falling from the waterfall. Is there, okay. like, a reward for anyone who figures out what's going on or, like, turns in whoever's responsible or anything like that? If you know the identity of the person, the secret can be sold to us. We will be buying it. Though, no reward has necessarily been set. It is something that could be discussed with the secret himself. Oh. So, like, what do we do? We could just, like, investigate it on our own if we wanted, then come to find you if we figure it out, or... You're we welcome talk, to do this like... as long as you do not get in the way of the secret keeper's business. Of course, that makes sense. Is there somebody we could talk to, I guess maybe the secret, like, about what kind of investigation might have been done already? Or a persuasion check. <laughs> okay, great. Let me do that. I'm super good at that. Uh, 15. <coughs> Excuse me. We could perhaps have that arranged, though it might take weeks. The secret is busy meditating currently in their stasis. That sounds For pretty weeks? intense. Stasis? For weeks. Okay. The stasis is to be undisturbed okay. as they process the secrets of the entire city. Oh shit. That seems like a lot. Okay. For weeks? For weeks. Well, we are busy with other meetings for many weeks. Oh, right. Unless it is of so, dire necessity, the secret will not meet with. Well, I mean, there's babies crawling around on the side. Yeah, is the that secret. Pretty dire. The only one that knows, like, what is going on, like, what you have already investigated? The secret knows Don't... all the secrets of the city. Okay. Is their that makes sense. Learning. Right. I'm sorry. I, that makes total sense. Is there anybody else who knows about the investigation part, though? Like, just those secrets? Other secret like keepers a... that are inside? Yes. Could we talk to one of them, please? One secret Maybe? could be arranged to speak with you? Yes. Okay, gr great. That would be great. Very well. What do we have to do? Head inside. They will come to you. Okay. Thank you. Starts to head inside. Yeah, they just stare on. <clears throat> Stasis. 
I don't really do lots of meditating, but you go into like a full stasis for weeks. That's a long when he meditation. Said stasis for weeks. I start thinking about fucking Svepir again. All right, I don't want anything yeah. to do with this place. If I'm being honest, Willoughby, pick your head out. See if there's like an unmarked set of graves somewhere, and then we know it is Amanita. Oh, again. I'll keep my head on a swivel. <laughs> it's strange that they don't seem more concerned about this, or that one certainly didn't anyway. Like it seems like they care more about. Secrets than resolutions. When you head inside, I mean, it is kind of constricting when your entire job is that you have to keep things secret, and then everyone wants to know the solution to the problem that everyone's having. <laughs> yeah, that is a good point. You see, they can't really go around yelling the solution because then it's not a secret anymore, is it? Candles are lighting the entirety of the inside. Um, it's almost split into several sections. Uh, you can see a, a portion where there's a, a, a queue that goes into like a secret area over to one side where people are kind of carrying um, small bits of wood um, which they've kind of carved onto but they hold them against their chest no one's showing off the wood that they, they're carrying and you can see as they go into this room you can see smoke coming out of it another section shows a wall with molds very similar to the secret keepers you run into, but the opposite way around, mm. inverted. And you can see people walk up to these molds and they place their face against it. Almost like a confessional. They wait in line and they speak into it. You can't hear any of the sound coming out of that. It's almost like it's just completely silent on that wall. And down the center, you can see a quiet kind of walkway that leads all the way down towards... What is a section for for where you can see almost like uh, people who are uh, quietly cleaning and cleansing newly born babies and then bringing them back and forth like a maternity ward and bring them back towards the nurse area. And offerings are being left by each of the mothers who come along and bring their babies, walking past you quietly, placing something down by a bowl centered right in the middle. And just above that, Hanging maybe 15 feet into the air, just on a ledge. Their legs crossed, wearing a full red outfit with a mask that is a kind of a deeper granite. It's a very kind of deeper gray. One eye. The slit is horizontal. One eye vertical. And then the mouth. Otherwise, they're the same look as all of the other secret keepers. Cross-legged, sat on a ledge. This kind of quiet, different leader. Just waits. The temple itself is nothing extraordinarily big, though you can see people funneling in and out of it. Some walking up to speak their secrets to the right, others going to burn theirs. And mothers coming through. But otherwise, it's pretty peaceful in here. You do see the secret keepers that stand around and watch over people, though, are all well armed. Somewhat mili uh, militaristic. Are you doing anything whilst you wait? Like, I think, okay, they just said that one was going to find us. So what do we just like blend in? If you have like a secret you want to tell or it looks like burn, you can go do that if you want, I guess. Do you guys There's want to get rid of a secret? On a record, sell secrets in a fucking tavern. Shh, I wouldn't give any of your secrets out here. What, give a, what if you give a fake one? Oh shit. No, then I'll know that like we said it and then I'll be pissed at us. What? I'm going to go burn a secret that is like Eldritch really wants to drink the baby water. It's not really a secret. We already know. Oh, that's that. not a secret, everyone. Yeah, we know it already, Eldritch. We could tell. I don't want to. I think you might a little. It's like the cliff thing I was saying, right? Like you're kind of tempted to try the baby water. But being a baby would be very inconvenient right now. Yeah, that's the thing. Nobody has time to be baby. Like, it's super inconvenient. You can't really, like, stay up late. You can't walk on your own. You have to, like, have your food cut. It's a lot. Nobody wants to deal with that. Yeah. Leans back, looks around to see if a secret keeper is approaching us. Um, they leave you alone for about five minutes. Okay. I wonder how this secret keeper's price is compared to other guys. They're the same. 
Well, like... Why are they here? Is there? I think Would because... you like to come with me? And oh, shit. Hello. Slip in behind you very quietly. It's one of the secret keepers. They walk straight ahead, walking towards where uh, the offerings are. And walk around it beneath the ledge. And you can see just the seams of a door as they open up a secret doorway and lead into a back room. They attack. I mean, do you follow? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, Are we, f we following as a group? Yeah, I don't know. Why not, right? I guess. I, I'll assume people are following unless they say otherwise. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Uh, they close the door behind you. And you realize you're in this kind of almost back room area. Like, it's not, they're not really designed for kind of meetings and, and such. But it is just a quiet kind of empty room with a few extra just candelabras and kind of uh, candlesticks ready to go on one side, a little bit of a dusty shelf. And you can see them fold their arms in front of you, kind of tucking both their hands into their sleeves in this quiet, dark, very, very dimly lit room. It is not customary to meet with citizens, but I believe that you have had interest in the current situation with the milk. That's the milk? We were... All right, yeah. We actually do like... We like milk. Oh. Ew. I forgot that part. <laughs> <God>. <clears throat> That's kind of... Okay, I... It's going to take a second to process that. That sounds a little bit gross, if I'm honest. So you do not know um, much about this? We... No. We know... Enough to have the general details. However, we're quite good at fixing things for exactly. people. We're willing to look into this professionally for you. But we can't do that unless we know exactly what you have already investigated. Mm. Very well. The secret keepers have been investigating, and we have not come to any conclusions yet. But we do have some insight into who could potentially be the cause. Mm. Loki is the first and foremost most likely cause, though it does seem rather small in regards to his capabilities. We also have belief that Jaya, an alchemist in town, though the secret has convinced us that she is not the cause. But you don't believe that? The role of the secret keepers is not to believe everything the secret tells us, but to consistently question and quandary. Got it. Though, the secret is correct in that not everything lines up with them. And we have had them watch to a point where we do not believe they are involved in anything suspicious. Other than that, we have tailed several people around the city, but have uncovered very little. It could be that a trader came through has done something to the supply. Or perhaps mm. simply it is a curse <coughs> one that we must abide until we have proven ourselves to Frigga. Like like a curse from Frigga, you mean? Or like just a curse and Frigga will help you if you prove yourselves? It is impossible to understand or truly question what the motive might be, but it could be Frigga or another god. If this is to be a and test, then we are to do it quietly and confidently. Though I'm afraid that our investigation has proved nothing. We do not have any suspects mm -hmm. currently, though we are still following three. If I, if I can, uh, ask a few questions. You, why was this Jaya, this alchemist, why were they suspected initially before your your secret told you that they were not involved? Like, why were they why were they named as a potential suspect? 
Jaya bears a gift given by Frigga herself, one that allows her to remain youthful. She was one of the first ever to live in Berka and has lived here since its beginnings. Okay. Due to this gift, many believe that perhaps due to her alchemy as well, she has forsaken her gift and used it as a means to torment others. Mm -hmm. Okay, something like so. And you said that you have people watching this Jaya, but now you no longer believe that she is involved in anything. Is that because they have not seen her leave? Have they <clears throat> tracked her movements, where she has gone? Why, why, why the sudden change of suspicion? We have followed her. We've had her supplies examined, surveyed. Hmm. Nothing seems to be suspicion among them, okay. to a point where we do no longer have anyone Tailing her. Okay. And when did it all start? The the water thing? The milk water? It has been a few weeks now. And there was nothing suspicious that happened around that time? Like, nothing weird happened the night before or something? Or like... The day before, the water tastes like rosemary. The day before that, it had a lemongrass scent to it. It has not changed its flavor since. And we have tested it among those bravest of the secret keepers. Oh, like you drank it your own selves? We have had those who have taken turn... this, this decision. Shit. Can I, um... So when it started to... When you noticed that people were you know, de-aging or become children or whatever. Um, did you like, did you go to check the, like, the water itself? Like, did you do tests on it? Did you? Oh, you mean the water in the waterfall itself? Yeah, you like, did you just? tested the water. It is magical as it always has been, though tainted and different. There's only so much we can do from falling water. Do you not want to go to the top and test it? Into the source. To do such, to enter into that, would be so blasphemous that it would be instant death to any who desired. None would risk going into the source of the water, which is a defilement to the gods themselves. Mm. We are confident that no one has done this, nor tormented it or tainted it from up there. Or who would damn themselves for eternity? That is a good question. What if, um... Can you not, like... Can you not pray to Frigga, like... This water's pretty messed up. What if we go look at it? Is it okay? We would not dare to question a source. All right, if it's a so, test, you don't want to. Not just that. Would you tell the perfect carpenter that the table they built is shoddy or incomplete? A job or turning not worth people doing. into babies? I mean, I don't. Yeah, I don't know that I would say it like <clears throat> we your not table question is shoddy. Frigga. I will not have any more questions on this. Frigga's design is perfect. It cannot be tainted by mortal hand. What if someone did tamper with the source? Like, what would happen to them? We would have them killed. Okay, that's And sacrificed fair. to Frigga. It was an apology. Desperacy. This is not something that will be done. Oh, okay. Interesting. And you also said maybe it was Loki, but you don't really think so, because it seems small potatoes for him. As the days go by, it finds itself more likely, for it has affected many. Loki does not perform his mischief on but a few, unless those few are fellow gods. To do so on mortals seems out of character for him, though perhaps this was a way to punish Frigga and to torment her. If that is the case, then it is the way of the gods, and Frigga will deal with it in her own time. For now, all we must do is prevent any others from drinking the water. 
And if there is mortal tampering, they will be dealt with. And if not, Vega herself will fix things. We are confident in this. What if this is something Frigga wants and you are denying her by not drinking it or, and even worse, preventing others from drinking it? This is something that has been of debate among the Secret Keepers. The Secret is currently analyzing the secrets of the city to see if there's any truth to this matter. Some Secret Keepers have taken it among themselves to drink the water as seeing it as a gift from Frigga. This is something is that it? could be the case. Have you noticed a pattern at all? Like, oh, this person is 83 and they drink it and they become 22 or something like that? Or does it, is it just random? Currently, it only affects mammals and it does seem to be random. We are not entirely sure as what, how many years someone might de-age, though it is roughly, it can be something from months, or perhaps a year, to decades. We've not seen anyone be killed from it, or cease to exist from it. So perhaps... You know who the youngest person is that's drunk it? As in the greatest difference of age? Or... Starting youngest age. We did have a 14-year-old that drank it and became eight. Okay. Well, they two starts puberty again. That is exciting for them. If this is indeed a gift from Frigga, then eventually we will all succumb to it. But currently, whilst the secret analyzes the situation and searches for a secret, we must be patient. So, I'm sorry, it is because I'm new here. So really, all you're kind of doing right now is like damage control and you're just trusting that the secret who's like in stasis or whatever right now is going to just wake up with the answer and then you will know what to do? This is our current goal. So we are, in the meanwhile, watching any who entered the city that might have been here in the last few weeks. Passing in and out, be it merchant, be it local, and surveying them. We are currently undergoing a mass investigation across the city. This takes time. Makes sense. As long as we keep it protected and have soldiers stationed to prevent any from drinking it, in the meanwhile, this will be something that will be sorted in the next few weeks, we can guarantee. Are you trying to, like, find a cure at all? Like, or maybe you're not because it might be Frigga's blessing and you don't want to... Precisely. Hurt. It is not known yet. And on top of that, there is a means of curing it. We have done this when it first happened. Oh, shit. Good for you. Stronger healers can restore age to someone. So, they are few and far between. Okay. If you well. are to join this investigation, then we... Allow yourselves a moment of faith. For we believe that we have... Most suspects under watch. Though, currently, to call them suspects is... An inaccurate term. It is unlikely that you will be able to solve this. Though if you do find a mortal, you asked about reward. Is there something you seek? Like we just ask you for something? And then... This is the bartering way, is it not? Oh. Yes. Do we want gold? Do we want uh, things? I'm guessing is what you're implying. Um, Indeed. If you can prove that. What is our price? Down. Indeed. What would we want? I guess we think about it and we tell you when we figure it out, huh? 
This could be arranged. Okay. Okay. Is there any information any of you would like in your own lives and pursuit of satisfaction? Because this may be a place to get an answer you didn't know you could. Secret keepers That's in good. general make sure to pass on any secrets in life that they have. Any curiosities to the secret and to other secret keepers. If you have secrets that you could pass to us, we are not in the business of buying them usually, unless they affect us. This is a place for people to let go their secrets. Trigger would be ashamed for it to become a place of commerce, unless that commerce can aid others. That being said, the Burker is currently extremely curious about any of the workings of Ganvik, as they have a belief to conquer and invade. If you can provide secrets of Ganvik's right. militaristic strategies or intentions, we could trade with commerce for those. That's right. Okay. Are we all set then? Oh. Yeah. I think so. Good. Good. Thank you. We could be with you. And on your way out, if you do feel the burden. also with you. Secrets are a burden, one that weigh down not only the body, but the soul. You'll find yourself enlightened and freed by gifting your secrets to us. But it is not us you give your secrets to, it is both rigor and yourselves. A connection that we have with Frigga herself. On your way out, I'm if good. you do feel enlightened or burdened, please. We offer you to join us. Thank you, but no, but sure. Perhaps you will change your mind. I just don't have any secrets to tell. We all have <laughs> secrets. Some we have forgotten ourselves. The greatest secrets kept are those we keep from ourselves. They walk to the door and they open up for you. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> okay. I'm, with, I'm with Willoughby. <laughs> I leave. You see them kind of lift a candelabra and go and start replacing another one. Okay. Well, these head straight for the full door. I don't know if anyone yep. else in the group yep. wants any, like anything else they want to do here. But uh, I'm with Willoughby. Be. I'm with Willoughby. You don't think Lena probably leaves the last because she's going to just stop for a minute and watch the the moms and the babies you'd see kind of nod a lot of them are thanking and like coming in crying with happy tears and placing down food or flowers or anything they can <laughs> it's not a difficult time to be a mother um more difficult with the war a difficult world to survive in so every birth here is seen as kind of the greatest blessing. And you can see as all of them go forth and mothers gather together and they give expensive things. Because what is wealth in the comparison to a child for that? There's a great happiness in the temple. Do you like so? You step out into the kind of gardens area and away from the secret keepers, back to the kind of the, 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 the louder portion of the cities. People walk by gathering and, and, and heading to different taverns or heading up the statue itself. And 
going to their shops or working the construction jobs for the day and you're back in kind of the bustling city. <sighs> this gives me the creeps. Yeah, it was very tense. Did it? Yeah. Wait, why did it tense. give me the creeps? There's just something about it, the whole scene. Anyways, Elena, this kind of falls on you. This is kind of your play here. What are we doing in the jar? Well, I'll tell you what we're not doing. We're not going to be super obvious about blaspheming and then immediately being put to death and destroying this city's whole philosophy. Definitely yeah, so I guess not crawling up into the jar ourselves in broad daylight. No. There's always the tidal wave. I think that... It will draw attention. It will if draw they attention. Hold it, if they hold that urn in such and high regard, they'll, they'll be very it. interested. Yeah. In my village, right? Um... Like I said, all of us, all of us there, right? We're followers of Loki, that was... We were his, right? And we did not have a giant jug with a waterfall in it, which would have been really cool. Um, but we didn't have it. Um, actually, we kind of kept a little bit silent on things, but I imagine that if we had something like that and someone walked in and broke it, it would have been bad. <laughs> For them yeah. right we would not have been happy so i think maybe we try to respect the the jug and well, i'm not just talking about the jug i'm talking about how comfortable you are bringing in someone that you knew yeah especially since it sounds like if we hand them over to the secret keepers that's instant death it's, not it's essentially something can, we need to decide now can we because... like I'm gonna start rustling through my bag. Can we, um, I don't know, like, Draven, you can, like, see them sometimes, right? Like, you can kind of keep checking on them now and then. Can I don't know, I'm guessing you can. I mean, I could send my sprite back to I'm look at them, but... Okay. Is that something you would prefer? Well, I'm going to, it's just, um, hang on. And I'm going to pull out a small silvery um, pin. And it's a little salmon. I'm going to stick it on my cloak. If they are still there, then this will do nothing. If they are not in there, and they are walking around right now, and they see this, then they will know what I am, if not who I am, because I don't look the same as I did before. Although I might change that, we'll see. And it is sort of a symbol of... You know, the thing is, if I change, you can't tell, right? You can be a super good magician. You're not going to be able to tell that I'm not me, right? It is just me. I just am shaped differently. Does that make sense, right? It's not a... It isn't magic. It is just me, right? So, there is not a way really for us to tell uh, if we are out in the world uh, who might be our friends and who might not be. And so we have a little symbol um, that is small and people who know what to look for will see it. And people who don't will think it is something that is cute, right? And nice and not think anything else of it. So, <clears throat> if they are out of the jug and wandering around and they see that, maybe they approach and they say, hey, what are you doing here? I can't believe it. Um, and it just is sort of like, I'm here and I'm available to talk to. I don't think it's going to do anything. They're probably going to stay up there and then we're going to have to go up there and get them. <laughs> but it is well, a start. Yeah. I mean, is there any... Last I checked, you have to eat food to live. True. Last I checked. I do. Raven, did it look like they had much in the way of rations on them? I don't think so, but they were eating, like, said nuts. a small bag of, like, nuts, walnuts, or pecans, or something. And they either, A, like I was saying, had to have gone to scavenge them themselves, or B, right. purchased in a market. Mm -hmm. But if they, yeah. or, or stolen. Well, but still. 
gotten somewhere. Do, yeah, I mean, I wonder if there are uh, shops, taverns, markets, etc. up towards, I would assume, up towards the Jaga, maybe. Like, I don't know that <clears throat> I would go far from it if I was, if well, it I was guess, me. I guess a big question, Lena, is... I mean, this is all well good if we, like, are, are we, are we, are we apprehending this person? Are we stopping this person? Are we doing anything about any of this? I mean, the way I... We could from, try talking to them. We could also just leave. I mean, listening to those secret keepers, it's not like they were making much effort to resolve this problem. They're happy to sit there and wait and assume it's some blessing from Frigga. They don't want to go up in the jar. I mean... I, I'm all for helping people, but nobody's being hurt here, and it, it doesn't seem like people really want to resolve this problem. I mean, and it sounds like this is one of Lena's people. I mean, I don't know. Do we? What do we want to do? Do we want to do anything about it? I want to enter my curiosity about why they chose to do it, and to be honest, sure. I don't much and care. Let's ask. But, I start yeah. walking towards the okay. vase. Okay. I would like to. Yeah. No. Okay. And You're going to start to walk around the front. Okay. Uh, yeah, you walk around to the front of the statue. You can see a few buildings built across the, the feet area. Um, but for the most part, when you get onto the actual kind of main portion of the statue, you can see a small river runs beneath the legs, um, pulls out into the waterfall. But no one kind of does anything across that river. Only a small bridge goes across it. And. Uh, you are standing, so you're right beneath where the kind of jar is slowly kind of pouring over. It's tilted very much so that the, the jar is not really tilted in a way that it's kind of angular, like it's pouring out. It's kind of tilted, so it's sloshing over, but it kind of continuously pours, um, regardless of that. So it's not really gravity doing this, it, or magic. Mm -hmm. You stood there kind of right at the base, below the feet and below where the, the, the jar kind of comes down. The sun is beating in the sky, causing a shadow right next to you. Again, it's about 100 feet up. Lena, you said you don't know their name. I don't. It, you know, it is like when you see a familiar face. I, yeah, there were yeah. quite a lot. It wasn't like around. it was. Yeah. Okay. So, is there anything I could try to scare him out? I could just try to intimidate or just ask him. I mean, I can also. I don't know. <sighs> I Can guess. I just walk up and just say, hey. I don't have to walk. What? I don't have to move. That is true. You How? want to speak into their head? Yes. That would make me run. Well, how close? Run, I could try to stop them. Yes. Oh, Joe, how close can we get to, like, the junk itself, right? There's, there's shops and stuff up the statue, right? Yeah, so on like, the sides, usually. Can... On the side. So you could probably get up to, like, one of the ones midway, and you'd probably be about 40 feet away. Like, an angle. It basically kind of goes up the sides, almost like a chair behind her, is the way it's been designed. No one really okay. builds on the front. But it would be very obvious if we try to walk into the jar to people. Yeah. I mean, you'd have to climb out away. Like, it, there's none of the shops are near the jar. Um, they're all oh God, on like the side. So you'd have to climb around the building. You'd be scaling across a I basically, mean, and the side. whole city can see this jar yeah, pouring into this pool. In like it's not, you can't really hide or anything. Did we confirm like they're still in there right now? No, no, no I didn't. We didn't. we didn't. Do we see? Okay, this is a dumb question, but I'm going to ask it anyway. As we look at the statue and the jug and all that shebang, <laughs> are there like, are there like? bird nests in the folds of the fucking statue's robes and shit? Like, are there, like, spots uh, where little, like, wildlife would be? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, roll a perception check. Alright. Okay, I'm super good at that. At 14, because I'm not super good. That was a joke. Not that you can see. Alright. I mean, I can look with the old goggles, but it sounds like you just were curious about if there were bird nests and stuff up there. Well, what I was thinking was... If you don't look like a person and you are something small crawling across a statue like other small things would crawl across the side of a statue, it is what not you, going to draw attention. Do you think they're just going to run over and kill a squirrel for touching the statue? I don't think that's what I mean, but I'm not going time. to be like one weird squirrel like 
scaling a statue when they've never seen it done before. We can just go get them. Okay, we can. I mean, I, I can flip the old um, the goggles, the uh, far seeing goggles, and just do like a quick bino scan to see if there's like birds and creatures up there. Because um, it does say that it can basically like zoom in with vision. Yeah. The old eyes of the eagle. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, does it add anything to your perception modifier? It gives you advantage. I mean, right? I get adv I get advantage on it, and it says like, yeah, in clear conditions, you can make out details of extremely small, distant yeah. creatures and objects as small as two people. Them. So like, I mean, I can make a persuade uh, perception, but yeah, give me also a... I don't know if just the generic. Yeah, I mean, twenty one. Uh, well, twenty four because you have advantage. Um, oh, twenty four. Yeah, because advantage. Yeah. Your eyes would scan, and you see them zooming in, and looking across. You would see. No real remnants of birds' nests. You can see that there are birds that will occasionally just be stood up near kind of uh, uh, any kind of corners that they can, almost like pigeons would. Uh, you can see them kind of located and like looking down across um, the city. You'd also see occasionally um, very small bugs going across it as well. You can see like a line of ants that have kind of almost built their own little colony and they kind of Rolling around one of the corners. And then you'd see climbing from the bottom and going inside of the jar, around the top, is a lizard. And they, okay. And they go inside. So like, we're talking like, you know, little couple yeah. of inches kind like of thing. Like a very, yeah, yeah. yeah. Probably, about, probably about four okay. inches big lizard. I'll tell, the, I'll tell everyone else. I'll say like, well, I can see it. There's definitely creatures going. There's a lizard right now going inside it. Uh, Isn't that probably him because of what? Maybe. Yeah. That Lena is what I'm thinking, us. right? Yeah, I mean, maybe. Sure. Maybe we could become a lizard. So I can become a well, lizard. I mean, we could. Draven, if you send your, you know, so, little friend, no. go let you know, go check. Okay. And I'll just send the sprite up. Okay. Um, Do we? What did? Yeah, then I'll just I'll just look through their eyes whenever they get to the top to see if the lizard becomes a man. You can see as the lizard. <laughs> you see a body appear. Not wearing any clothes. Uh, you can see the clothes are folded up there nicely, and you can see him start slipping the clothes back on and kind of pushing them back onto himself. And then pulls the trousers up <sighs> and then sits back. And just rests his eyes against the back of the uh, uh, the wall of the, the, the actual interior. <laughs> yeah, they were in there. Was the. They were already in there, or they were the thing that he's pouring into the water? in there, or did he bring it in with him? Was there... I'm pretty sure it was his feet. What? I thought you said there was it. milk. I thought there was something like a... he was pouring in. Was it just that his feet were in the water, Joe? There was something, I remember because you showed yeah, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. it. So on I top of that as well. Oh, that's there right. Was the You're right. Pouring. There was, yeah, there was a little jug that. that I created. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yes. No, there was a, there was a jug. It was, in fact, a jug. That's still there? Yep. That's still pouring. Consistent. Yes. Okay. Just constantly pouring, like yep. it just never runs out. Okay. It, and it was something that was left there when he left to do things and presumably came back. Or was it something that um, showed up with again? Using the context clues of it, you can see that when he changes forms, uh, uh, it doesn't seem like, like his objects come with him. Um, he has to kind of... Yeah, he can't carry it with no. him as a lizard. Well, you if he's leaving the thing he leaves? that he's using to poison the water, why don't I just simply, or Lena, simply climb up and take it when he leaves next? Hmm. Oh. Well, I was sort of originally thinking, like, you know, if I could get close and try to, like, I'll try to try to talk. To be like, hey man, what are you doing? <laughs> um, which would probably scare him out, and then he would be out, but I would need to be able to see him in order to do that. I'm fine to try that, but I do think that we should secure the thing that's currently the problem yeah. before it's... we worry about communication. We, we have if a perfect like setup. We have, option. we have the perfect setup here. Draven can kind of keep watch. We he Draven lets us know when he leaves. Willoughby goes in. It sounds like uh, he can't take this jar and his clothes with him when he comes and goes. 
but Willoughby, I've seen that you can, anything you carry kind of becomes part of you, right? When you change into an animal. So maybe you go in, you pick up the jar, you transform back, you walk out. We've now got the jar. And then Draven, and he comes back. Then maybe Lena or Eldred are like, hey, guess what? We got your jar. You better and come talk to us. And then we have the jar. Right, exactly. Then we have, then we are in control. Yes. Uh, and we'll have it in concentrate. He's diluting it can. into the water. What is it doing? It's is it instant? I don't like this. Um, I need to be so clear <laughs> that I'm going to be holding the water, and I'm not letting you hold any of what's in that. I think it's oh. milk. Milk. I'm not letting you. I'm, I'm just letting you know do now. You, I'm not letting you touch it. With me, do you want to go by yourself? Do you want to meet? Do you want to like turn to? Can you turn into a bird? I, think I if don't you can, even know. If you can both go together, that's well. I can climb up right? as a as a lizard. Mm-hmm. Not big enough flying. Little lizard. Yeah, that flying is scary, right? If what if it doesn't work? Um, I don't I don't know. I've not really done a lizard. I can just scroll it. It is if a there's better no idea one for in me. There, and Draven says there's no one in there. I don't need someone coming with me to get it. Mm-hmm. But True. if you want to come up with me and wait there for when they come back. Just confirm that was he that's... was in there. He transformed back into his normal self. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, when he leaves again is what okay. we're, like, trying yeah, yeah. to do. I think what we're doing is we're going to do a stakeout where we're going yeah, yeah, to wait. Stake it out. And then Willoughby's going to run in, grab the jar, and then get out. And then we're going to be like, we got your jar. Come find Come. us. Yeah, that works. Well, you're welcome to come up with me. I don't I don't mind regardless. My like priority isn't exactly the person. It's the thing. No, I think we're, yeah, yeah. I think that's yeah. that's the main point of it, right? Like, you are not touching that thing, by the way. Again, Eldred, I'm not letting I, you near it. I'm just saying, if we run into a situation where we have an enemy, we don't want to kill them, but we kind of want to screw them over. Amazing. Terrifying. Okay, wait, sorry, I have a question. <laughs> I'm going to... Turn into lizard. You're going to go in. You're going to get the thing, right? How are you going to get it out? Can you? Well, I'll will will we can carry it with him, right? Yeah. Exactly. Can you? That's what I'm asking. I can't oh, yes. really do if it's like something that is like a magical thing. I can't. I'll just shove it in my chest cavity. Well, she works a little differently. Also, where like... it's it's. Lena doesn't know that. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. sorry. <laughs> Sometimes you know we'll play and then character. I don't know. I said it in his voice. Come on. <laughs> 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 All right, so you can put it in. You're, you're going to like around it, and then it is going to be safe. All right, okay. Um, okay. What if when you transform and it's in you, it's like you've consumed it, and then you will be babified? If I have to, I will just smash it when I get up there. If that's what you'd all prefer, if that would make everyone happier, I'll just. I would. It. I would prefer that. Yes, I would prefer that. <laughs> I, don't I wouldn't want the because I want to know what it no. is in case, like, okay. yeah. But uh, I'm also, it is... no, I mean, it's, <laughs> no, I'm I don't mean it like that. I I'm just... joking. <laughs> I'm terrified of the baby. The baby milk terrified me. I know. I We're not to going to let you get baby fat. Don't worry, okay, Juno. We'll keep good, good, good. care of you. Good, you will good, be good. fine. Okay. Let's do it. Stake out. Yeah, first step, I think we need to find, we need to get up there and see what shops are there. And then maybe there's like a nice cafe and we can be like, oh, we're going to get a tea or a mead or some well, shit. Well, David's got to stay within range, right? To actually yeah. see into it. No. I don't. Oh, yeah, what's the range we figured out? I have to be within range to speak yeah. to my sprite. Okay with it. I can see from anywhere. Hey. That's wild. Yeah. Let's All go right. to the nearest Let's go find a pub place or to whatever. Relax. Yeah, like the Jugside pub. There's got to be one, right? Like... Under the Jug Tavern. Yeah, we should get this. Uh, Willoughby should <laughs> be as close like as possible, closed. so we. we can <laughs> really quick. Close. Wait, hang on, Willoughby. Do you want to go talk to the alchemist? Why would I want to talk to the alchemist? Like she's been here the whole time. That's, That's somebody true. else who like would know. Like. That's a very. Maybe good they point, knew maybe. you. Maybe you did. You I, know Jaya? Oh, did you know Jaya? I, any, I don't think I knew. Are you sure? Alchemist. Were you dating Jaya? Are you sure? <laughs> Was Jaya your wife? What is happening? Insight check. <laughs> I'll tell you all I remember about Burka was that it was a shithole town with one tavern, and I saw a guy die when he fell off of the fucking statue while he was chiseling it. Okay, I don't know yeah. any alchemists. <laughs> Maybe she wasn't an alchemist then. 
Yeah, you can a lot of check years that however there. you want, by the way, everyone. <laughs> like, if you want to. Yeah, I probably wouldn't be an alchemist after... Uh, still, after however many centuries you're like if you had about. the same job forever that would be yeah. right you'd want to change careers <laughs> yeah. at some yeah. point for sure <laughs> yeah one takeaway you could probably take from willby is that when he was especially a human he probably didn't learn many people's names <laughs> shit. we're gonna go there see her and name... be like oh shit it's you i thought your name was alice what <laughs> I think human Willoughby sounds like the kind of guy who was interested in one name, his. <laughs> that was the name he cared about. Bingo. You also have to picture what like if... this as well. This is, uh, imagine when you were like 14 and going to a different town near where you like grew up <laughs> yeah. and then went to a random shop and you're being asked, do you remember the shopkeeper's name? Yeah. You know, it's, it's a long, I mean, it's that, like... and it's that times like 10. Yeah. It's, it's a long time ago. Uh... It's like when I moved to England and my dad was convinced anyone he met who was English, I would know. Like there's 65 yeah. million people there. I wouldn't know. I don't, I don't know everyone. Like, yeah, there's lots of possibilities. We're still going anyway. I'm going to find out. Maybe you do know her. Okay. Anyway, let's find the jug tavern place, yeah. cafe, yeah. Thing, whatever. You can walk around. Commence uh, operation stakeout. <laughs> you can walk around the, the side of, um, uh, uh, to the staircase that leads up and kind of weaves around. It's almost built on like tiers that kind of build up t against the statue itself. Um, you'd come across a series of like homes and then a couple of shops. Uh, there's one called Market's Bane, which seems to be a general <laughs> shop. Um, you'd also see, uh, uh, I would say you, you, the blacksmith shop would be a little bit higher up on there. You can see it's almost got its own lip um, where the skirt was kind of almost built onto Frigga. You can see it's kind of got this like portion coming out. You can see the anvil is like built so that the sparks are just fling off of the uh, the side of the, the the ledge itself, and he kind of almost does his work out on the edge. Um, and then further up, cradled into the to the arm, probably the closest place to the jug, about forty or so feet away, um, is cradled rest, the the inn that you were told about when you first came in. It's a while up. <coughs> you're a good like um, probably a little bit higher than the jug at this point. So you're probably about about one hundred and twenty feet up. Uh, and so, like, 40 feet around the corner is, is the jug. Um, that's probably the highest point of any shops up here. And none of them kind of go beyond the elbow and go, go up towards the top of the statue. Uh, you would see this pretty well-designed building, which is designed to, to kind of fit in with some of the colorations of the statue. You can see it's almost got its own permit to look like it's almost like an ornament of the statue itself. It looks almost mm -hmm. like cloth the way they've kind of painted and drawn it on the outside, but it's kind of built of wood and stone um, in tandem. Windows are positioned to kind of look out, and you can see the, there's a perfect one on the side near a table where you can uh, look out and see the entirety of the, the falls coming down and the jugs just around the corner from you. As, as we walk up, do we see any sort of... Are there like street vendors? Is there anyone selling nuts? Are there like little vendors? Yeah, Are there yeah, yeah, like... yeah. You'd you'd see a little on the kind of the corners. You could see there's a couple of occasionally you'd see someone like playing an instrument. Um, you could see a skull kind of like uh, twining a little kind of long, almost uh, lute like instrument. Um, and then on another corner you'd find a little kind of market vendor. One of them would be selling nuts. All kind of we gotta buy all those fucking nuts. nuts. We gotta make that guy leave way farther. How crowded is this area? Um, it's definitely not as crowded as, as below. Like in the city, there are there are thousands of people. Um, sure. Up here, uh, you you'll be walking past people occasionally. It just feels like a, a kind of a, a a less busy road. But people come up here to go to the tavern. The tavern, uh, the inn seems pretty popular. Um, uh, and a couple of the shops lower down definitely. But once you start to get Thank up close to it, yeah, it's pretty popular. As we as we were walking up when it was kind of more crowded, mm -hmm. um, I think, yeah, I think as it was more crowded, Lena would have said to everyone, um, all right, I'm going to just look a little bit different and it's going to take a few steps, so give me a minute, but don't freak out. And um, just really subtly in a series of stages as we move through crowds, her face will start to change. Mm -hmm. And she will, uh, in one step, become just like an inch or so shorter. And then she winds up 
through probably about like I would say four changes as she shifts between people. Um, you can still hear it as her. She's going to do the same voice, but uh, she will now have kind of uh, longer red hair, slightly wavy, and a little dust of freckles and blue eyes. Same outfit. So that by the time we get up to the tavern, she's fully changed. Okay. So, making your way into the Cradle Rest, uh, you can see it's fairly busy. Um, the best seated table is kind of occupied by a, a couple of people. You can see there's uh, uh, the, the best one seated, like, to, to look out across, across the, uh, the the pouring urn. Um, the actual place is kind of buzzing. You can see it's got, like, three tiers to it that's built up the elbow um, with different rooms up in all of the different tiers. And the bar seems pretty popular. Uh, there's a dwarven woman who's kind of serving out the drinks. No alcohol, though. It's all water or... or uh, there is milk um, being served. Uh, uh, which does look like less people are drinking it right now. Um, cautiously. So you can see there's almost kind of like jugs of it, which have kind of gone to waste. But they're serving out a, a bit of food as well. The table that is best for you to all sit on to stake it out is occupied by... Uh, Two men, clearly can kind of construction workers, a little bit like um, deeper toned skin from spending a lot of time in the sun, less less pale from the snow, and uh, and also they're kind of like you can see the casters on their hands, a little bit broad bearded guys, and next to them drinking as well, um, a tall glass of water, is probably a a, a fourteen year old girl, and she's like, yeah, I mean we can get back to it after we've done this, but. I just want to sit here and get some food in us. They won't miss us. The foreman won't care. You know, we just kind of laugh and like talk to each other. Um, they're in the best position. Otherwise, you'd have to see it a little bit awkward elsewhere. Uh, and then okay. slightly get a worse view. All right. Raven, go scare them out of those seats. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm going to walk over. Okay. Is it a group of children? Uh, no, it's one one fifteen year old girl and two grown men, and two grown construction cool. workers. Cool. Hi. One looks up to you. Yeah. Would you be willing to trade seats with me? I'm. I need this view because I need to see if a friend of mine is having an affair. I need to be able to see out the window. I think I know that they're going to be meeting down there. And I'm just pointing. So it's a whole weird thing, but... You get the same view from the table over there. This view gives a nice one of the waterfall. Which is why I can look like I'm enjoying the waterfall and not catching them in the act of fidelity. What a deception check. Cool. That's smooth, dude. Discount. Can I say that while being like, please go do that, I gave him guidance to <laughs> for, the, for his persuasion or deception? Yeah. Cool. I mean, I'll laugh. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, yeah. At a D4. Well. 10. Hey, whatever fucking insight that guy tries to do, I'm take a D6 off. <laughs> well, I, 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 I don't do contested insights like that with, with it's a general DC. So uh, you okay. can see him going. <laughs> Sit there the table, wait. All right, I lied. I just... Okay, you see those people over there? And then I point towards the group. Sure. I'm trying to impress one of them. One of them wanted a really good view of the falls, and I'm nice. kind of f***ing it up right now. The girl just puts down a drink and goes, Look, I failed to see how this is our problem. <laughs> We've just done a really long day. Quite frankly, my mood has been down in the last week or so. Okay, that's fair. How much How much do you make a day? Hypothetically. The day's work, what? Three silver each? That's trash. I give him each a gold here. That's more like it. And then you see them all get out, take their gold, <laughs> and take their drinks, and move away to, to a different I table. I thought he'd throw, like, fingers on the table or something scary. It was, a, it was a child. 
Do you think but, that was a child or, so or someone who drank the baby? <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that was probably, yeah, just someone. <laughs> but I guess they are a child now, so... What is a child? What if that was actually just a 14 year old? Like, what if, what if, what if you all life is are so tainted <laughs> by this yeah. that, like, a 14 year old was actually just a, a teenager working <laughs> hard for no con- money. Like a construction job, right? Yeah. Just like, yeah, I, I was it's just like, that's like a away. 60 year old person right there. <laughs> and I was like, okay, this is actually probably a teenage girl who's just working hard. <laughs> <laughs> if you'd like to know the answer to this, I'm sure it will be up in the Patreon soon. <laughs> you can find out this. Of that child's just like, life. Yeah, they're all they're all shit. <laughs> you know, Joe, I want I want that to be a Patreon like post. You want to talk about it, her life not... and how she yeah. that. Yeah. Life. Yeah. No, she was just fourteen. Yeah. That's it. That's the story. Yeah, she worked until she was six. Um, <laughs> which was the week before. Um, <laughs> yeah, the table lies free. The best spot. Okay. We move over. Nice job. Did you paint yes. them? Yes. Why not if it's the easiest solution? Look, I, I'm not willing to take a risk on whether someone is or is not an actual child. If yeah, that was fair. an actual child, I would feel r- real bad about making the essence of Thanatos appear across my body <laughs> that is fair. to scare two grown men and a child and permanently. A child. If I knew it was a grown woman, yeah, fucker. But like, <laughs> on the chance that it was a child, that's how you get a nemesis. Oh, so you weren't concerned about scaring the child. You were concerned about creating a future nemesis. Sounds like, worse you when have... you say it that way. Do you already have <laughs> a nemesis of this child like right now? None that are living. Oh, shit. Good point. That's good. <laughs> well, you live good a really you. long time. You get to see people grow up into <clears throat> terrible people, and then you get to bury them sooner than later. So your plan. Hmm. Now yeah. we're going to sit here and... Make sure he's still there. What if he left for see. a bathroom break already? Fine. <laughs> what if he's just <laughs> eating in the water? Uh. <laughs> do you think he's never done that before? Does he have to do that every time? It's painful. You... It looks painful. <laughs> can you hear through this phone? <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, yes, yeah, because I can share the senses. Roll a perception check for the sprite. Oh, right. when you, when you look in there, you can see him there, and you can see him transforming into just various human forms and talking to himself. 21. Uh, you can hear nice. what he's saying. He's kind of acting out almost like a little play to himself, and he's trying out different voices and just kind of repeating the same things and then laughing to himself. Uh, Good practice. Kind of, yeah, practicing, but also biding the time, causing himself to laugh, mimicking people, and just kind of practicing over and over. You can see he's definitely getting bored. He is getting bored, mimicking things. Wow, what a sad little man. I've been doing this for weeks straight. Nothing else, just sitting there, babysitting a jar must be really boring. Hmm. Oh yeah, being in the same place is really boring. Trust me. Just sitting somewhere. Without even like books to read. Five weeks. Oh, boo-hoo for him. I thought That's a big free. boo-hoo moment right there. Wait, where have you sat? <laughs> no, I think he stood. You stood, right? You didn't I even stood. get a I chair. I didn't get to sit. <laughs> like when he was guarding sit. Yggdrasil, right? Like, he just had to stand there all the time. What were your... What did you do to entertain yourself? I did a lot of staring at Bark for a while. Then when I got bored of that, I tried to escape. They caught me. Put me back there. Then I got to counting grass. There was a lot of grass. I counted most of it. Did you have like a shift partner or were you stationed what like you by yourself? Me? I don't know. Did you have, like... Yeah, so did you have someone else eat? to talk to? Like, were you on like a cool path and you were on one side and that other Quistair was on the other side? You were like guarding and like, a... no? No. What were you guarding? Just a, a root? Just a part of the tree. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Are you... Does he have to chat? No, I think he's saying what the other what they what they are saying, right? Are you spending all your time in this form? What you searching through? Yeah, hundred percent. Because I can't. The thing is, Draven can't <laughs> hear or see from his body when he's looking through the sprite. Right. So I don't know what the hell they're doing. No one's touched me. Yeah, <laughs> that's fair. 
Um, I don't think anyone would dare after you went like. <laughs> 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 How will you Why does do the thing that? like a kid where like a centimeter away, like I'm not touching him, I'm not It'll touching do that him. for a solid like three, four minutes just drinking water. Cause the thing is his his whole concept was the, his part of this plan was to watch and mm -hmm. no one's doing the plan apparently. So Drake is just kind of <laughs> Well if he's in there, isn't well, our plan the, we're the waiting, plan is right? That we're waiting until he leaves. Yeah, so I just have to watch. Yeah, you're doing yeah. your so, job. You're so doing just, it well just right ask, now. How long are you willing to wait, Avril? <laughs> Jenna can wait willing day. to wait until the uh, heat death of the fucking universe, my guy. He, okay. he's more some of us will have to sleep at some point, right? Uh, 20 uh, minutes. To sleep. 20 minutes. And if it goes 20 minutes and he doesn't move, I'm going to have the sprite shoot him with the dart. <laughs> so I get the small arrow. Okay. Can you communicate? Are you going to like... Exchange that information with the party nah. before. Nah. It depends yeah. on how close we get. And like if if if, Vic, if they're like, I'm Victor, the changeling in the water for like twenty damn minutes. Oh, that's its like, voice. Gibbon's gonna say, you know, if nobody stops me, I'm about to shoot this little shit. Like, <laughs> for twenty well, minutes. I mean, it's been can... twenty minutes. Just yeah. wait. He consistently is just doing different voices and stuff for twenty minutes at least. If he's going to shoot him, and then it, that guy's going to run out, right? Like, do. You... Do you want to like? Is he going to run to the tavern? Should we like go hang out in the road? I, okay. What? I mean, yeah, he's going to probably run out. Well, into how the tough road. does this guy look? Does it look like Leonard and I could just take him? Wait. But do you want to it. fight inside the jar? No, I, know I, I want to not be in the jug. It. If I don't have to. I mean, if we're Lena. getting impatient after twenty minutes, I'm fine then... to wait. <laughs> Lena, I have a question. Yes, I have an answer. Maybe I don't. Know. How resistant are you to poison? Like you um, naturally. Oh, like naturally, um, I'm not really, but the cape helps me out with it now. Cool. But... So like, he's probably not resistant to poison, right? That's true. No, I don't have anything like that. I can, um, well, you know, right? Because it was a whole thing. Like mm. I can breathe in water, and then so can he, right? He could. Um, my fish that is pretty much pool. it, right? He can turn into a few things. I can turn into a few things. He can't just turn into everything, though. So, like, yeah. you kind of learn a few things, and then that is, those are your, okay. like, alternate whatever, your, like, options to turn into. Good. Like, I think Willoughby could do, like, Willoughby, you could do whatever, right? You could just be, like, I a you. bug you. or a... This is a whole lot of extra information. Yeah, he can't do a lot. Are good to I can him? do whatever I want, but I just don't really like flying. But you I'm don't like really to do stuff. It. Oh, yeah, I can turn down with anything. <laughs> Poison works. Great. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is he going to poison him? I bet you're I talking I'm... about me, but I well, don't going to start standing up sound. and like walking outside. I think, yeah, we know we'll walk like, up too. be near it, huh? We need to get that jar. What? How close are we to the jar way. right now? Uh, about 40 like, feet away. To the 40 feet away. Oh, wow, okay. What's on the street? Is there, like, any, like, like you, little benches? Or... No, you can't... Yeah, there's no there's no walkways through it. There's no, you'd have to climb 40 feet along the side of a, a statue. It's is there, like, a little the overlook? Like, no. is there, like, no, no, a little no, 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 bench or no, no, anything, no, no. You're, like, you're, on the street? On the street, you could go and get, yeah. like, a bench, but... To give you an idea, this is like forty feet away. It's like it's like yeah, imagine yeah, no, when you're at, about the street. Imagine you're like a, a, like a waterfall in real life, and you're kind of halfway up the waterfall, and you're around the corner from it. Like it's and it was condensed. Like you're, no one goes near the jar. The jar is like forty feet. Yeah. Okay. It's getting like hanging. Joe, in can can um, if we head outside, if Juno heads mm -hmm. outside, can Juno make some sort of check to? Uh, like insight or perception to be like okay do like a Sherlock Holmes thing of like if they come out the jar the easiest point for them to run to if they were trying to get away from something inside what would that be like is there like yeah, an, yeah, yeah. An, uh, a point um, that's yeah. closer to it the hands of the jar are kind of like actually holding it they come round and you could technically hop off a wall and then hop down onto the arm it would be if, if a it, human did this it'd be extremely obvious but uh yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, then if, but if the lizard did that, is there an area that they would then get to that, like, where they could be a person, like a people's? Yeah, imagine, like, a like people you know, area. when you, uh, like, like a like a, a walkway that goes up a cliff, the way they kind of mm -hmm. go up, incline, and then they do, like, a little circular, like, almost like a U-turn, yeah. and yeah. then go up and incline. It's on one Switch of those kind of circle portion. Yeah, yeah, it's on, like, a little Okay, 
All right. So yeah, like Juno will point that out and be like, well, if it was me, I would go there. If I was going to be running away from something and want to, you know, become a person again, I would go there. So and I likely... can go wait there. And then if I see this person, I can try and, you know. Or you can keep an eye like. Sure. Right. Because now you I can keep see looking. So like I, you I, can do, keep I an eye I'm on the lizard. To... I think I'm going to transform and try to get up there. Okay. At this point. <laughs> sure. Yeah, if, we're going to po- if we're going to attempt to encased. poison him within it. We need to get the actual thing they're yeah. using. Yeah, so I think that maybe there, me, and, me, and, me and Eldred it. and Lena can, can keep an yeah, eye out. Yeah, Willoughby's going to wild shape around a corner, ideally so no one sees him, into a kind of like wooden lizard and dash as fast as he can up towards the jar. I'm going to point at the jar and sort of the outer edge of the jar, like the one that would be furthest from Frigga, and think about this little sprite and just send a message to the sprite. Okay. Hopefully meaning Gabe in nice sprite's brain and say, just wait for Willoughby to come as lizard. Smart. So we're more prepared to act. That's a very interesting thing. You could speak to me telepathically. That means you communicate to this fight, which has to communicate to me, which is very weird for Draven. Hey, yeah. I, got a yeah. weird te- I got a weird text. What the <laughs> yeah. yeah. Boss. Hey, boss. Actually, before like Willoughby. Willoughby says this kind of voice. Hey, boss. It's me, the sprite. <laughs> before hey. Willoughby goes around the corner, do we want to try to talk to, in our heads to. Why does not, you know, I'm just like, come on. You can all just touch me when you want something. Like, I can I can feel. Joe, I have a question. Mm-hmm. Because Draven has blind sight up to 10 feet, mm-hmm. can I still sense what's going on around me? Uh, yeah, within reason, yeah, for sure. We're like, oh. in your face. Yeah. I'm like, I don't think you can see us. Oh, shit, Stop sorry. It. I can't hear you. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> I was just testing. <laughs> yeah. Um... <laughs> Eldred's so when you want her. something, you can just wave. Eldred, get your hand out of my face. You can just wave, and I can acknowledge you. Okay. Please and thank you. I just can't Let's... hear you. I will do. Um, uh, I will link up Eldred and Juno and Willoughby and me, and then Eldred can talk to you, the Raven. And I will see how long. And then, then we can wild shape and do whatever. Okay. So you've linked up. I'm going to look yep. out the window for the lizard. Do I see it scurrying along? Well, nothing is happening yet, so not yet. He's still nothing. in the jar. Yeah, Willoughby's yeah. Willoughby, making his way up. No, Joe, you let me know when Willoughby he's Willoughby Oh, Willoughby lizard. Uh, lizard. Okay, so you're, you're already making your way across. Okay. He, he Wh- didn't wait, waste Willoughby. much time. He spent as much time as it takes to get around a corner where no one would see him turn into a lizard, so they yep. wouldn't be able to be like, that guy's climbing the thing as a yep. creature. That's blasphemy. That guy just turned yeah. into a lizard. Away and you turn into a lizard yourself. <laughs> and you begin crawling down the arm and up towards the hand to the jar. I want to see the lizard. Can I see it? Yeah, I would say it's, if, he's, if he's informed you that he's going to turn into one, you know exactly what to look out for. So you can see it. Willoughby, hello. This is me making a mental connection so we can stay in contact. No, Good we luck. have it. Oh, what We've the hell? I'm already. Two, am, I, am I connected to two separate lines? Yeah, I connected oh, Eldred. Eldred, you know Willoughby and me, so Eldred has to loop Draven in. Eldred's our operator. I'm hanging up. Operator nominee. <laughs> so don't hang up. That box it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. While all this is happening, I'm going to uh, just get a, some kind of food from whatever market stall is right there so it looks like okay. i'm not just this is all happening within like i imagine it's all happening within like a minute though. Uh, not even that like mm-hmm. 20 20 I, I worded it so as will be dashing yeah yeah, yeah. all right anything, i'm going to just like he gets there mean, in seven, like, i'm looking seconds. at the jug like about the school jug okay yeah you won't be able to go to a marketplace though this is all happening in under 10 seconds if he's dashing um question to throw back to draven then what is draven doing <laughs> as sprite imagine uh, this is a turn now Willoughby's dashing, yes. Elders cast the telepathy, Juno's waiting patiently by the, the area kind of down the, the, the where they'd come down. I assume mm-hmm. you walk down there, right, Juno? Uh, are you go yeah. down to where they'd appear? Yeah. Um, yeah. Or where I think they will. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Joe, right. also I DM'd you, sorry. Okay. <clears throat> the sprite is That's sitting different. on the edge of the bowl at the top, holding their short bow, 
aimed at the weird little dude, kind of just to try to get his attention and visible. get him moving. Yeah. He's what? No, shoot. it is not. Okay. It's not, not visible yet. Yeah. Okay. But I plan to shoot. Yeah. To um, break invisibility. Yes. Uh, are you going to shoot now, or are you waiting for Willoughby to arrive? Uh, I'm waiting for Willoughby to at least be like closer. So like, if I okay. shoot and it comes out. Willoughby could go in. So on kind of the second uh, turn, once once Willoughby's climbed around, and then Willoughby, on your next turn, you kind of go in. You can see him kind of changing forms, talking to himself, and he kind of goes back to the original and goes... <sighs> you can see the lizard scutter around inside. Okay, so I've arrived into, the, into it now. Roll a stealth check for me, Willoughby. I believe in you. You got this. That is a 20. Ooh. <clears throat> he doesn't seem to notice you. He transforms into kind of a burly man. Because it's a... Draven. Uh, uh, Sprite's going to take a shot. Go for it. And I... that is advantage because it's invisible? Yep. If Willoughby... If we can, like, kind of, like, sync this up in a way, I think Willoughby would be, as the lizard, continuing to proceed towards the item. Okay. Sense. I, I, don't it up, just I don't think really he would have lost a beat unless he got spotted. Okay. That's a 22 to hit? Uh, 22 hits. All right. Uh, it does one damage, right? It's... Yep, it does one damage, yeah. but I need it to make a, a constitution saving throw. Okay. It's a DC 10. It's not high. You see the arrow hit, and he's ah! The Lord like pulls out himself, and you can see it's gone into good. He looks up. Oh no, he's gonna barf in the water. And he sees the sprite, and he goes, "What the fuck? What the fuck? What are we? What are you doing?" If he <laughs> spotted the sprite, <clears throat> is Will be deep enough in now where yeah. it's he would be seen your turn. by yeah. people outside? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Once you're inside, gonna... you go and get seen. Wilby is going to leave Wild Shape and cast Hold Person. Joe, okay. did it? Did he fail? Yeah, he's poisoned. How much did he fail by? Uh, six. He goes unconscious. Wait, he rolled a six, or he failed by a six? He failed by six. Is it? Does he go unconscious? If they yeah, roll, if they fight it by, five or, by five or lower, they fall unconscious for a minute. <laughs> then yeah, That's wild. he he goes. <clears throat> It's just like really low DC, so unless you fuck the roll. <laughs> but if it His works. head just lolls back and he slides down against the wall unconscious. And I'm just going to have the sprite fly in and say, he's unconscious. Steal it. Uh <laughs> yeah, Willby grabs the thing. Willby doesn't know how long he's going to be unconscious for. He grabs mm -hmm. the item, pockets that. Okay. And fuck, I don't know. <laughs> I think there'd be at least like a couple seconds of Willby trying to figure out how the what the fuck he's going to do to like. So I guess he's going to try to tie him up. I would just leave him. I would just leave him. Run. Run. You, can, leave him. you can talk to he us. He doesn't know that you exist. Uh, also, this right has a snake's head and like some reptilian nice. aspects to a humanoid body. It's probably kind of a weird thing. Mm -hmm. It's a side conversation. <laughs> okay, that is actually... None of us have seen the sprite except Willoughby now. Willoughby's the only one who's seen the sprite. Willoughby knows so something about... This is fucking weird! Eh, it's fine. It's not <laughs> fine. Willoughby turns back into a newt or whatever with the item and I guess gets the fuck out of there. Okay. Yeah. He did, does he make any same throws? No, he just... It's actually, actually, before yeah, he before there. he does that, I think if he thinks there's time, he would try to investigate his body to see if there's anything else on him. Okay. Yeah. Before he goes. Uh, roll an investigation check. Cool. 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 That's a 23. Nice. Pat him down. Uh, he has probably about 12 silver remaining um, and a few copper pieces. But... Other than that, like some small wrappings where he might have had food previously. Nothing really else. He's not. He's, he's come super underprepared. Doesn't have any like weapons or anything. Just has his, his coin and his clothing. Is there anything? But now that I've investigated his items, I can clock. Is there anything unique that I can use to locate him off of what he's wearing on his clothing? A tiny little salmon kind of brooch symbol. Okay. Oh, shit. So I'm now familiar with his specific one as well. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to transform back out and get back down to the other. Okay. What are you doing as the sprite? Um. 
so even though he is unconscious, I want to use heart sight. So it touches a creature and then magically knows the creature's emotional state. Okay. Uh, can it technically even make a charisma saving throw since they're unconscious? Um, I would say because it's a because yes, because it's the emotional state and you're kind of reading their general demeanor. This is going to okay. be like like how they currently are in their unconscious state, like their general kind of okay. mindset. So then it's, um, it's a DC 10 charisma saving throw. It's not super high. Uh, he would beat it. Yeah. Okay. So then the the sprite wouldn't know. And then yeah, just gonna it's hard to read when he's unconscious, especially. <laughs> Loser. And then they're just gonna nice. fly back. Okay. Uh, and go invisible. I have the package. I repeat, I have the. I don't think I have to repeat. You guys Ooh, actually, no, we can the, just. You can just hear, can yeah. say it once. The sprite's just gonna fly up, but then watch down invisibly okay. like, to see what they do when they wake up. Fly up inside the jar or the outside the jar? Outside of the jar. Right okay. Now. Yeah. I What's have the, guy the doing? thing. I okay. left the guy unconscious in there because a freaky creature told me to leave it and get the hell out. And honestly, I just didn't. There's a lot going on in there. Yep, that's what it. Okay, you're going to. Okay. I'm going to come back down to you guys with the thing. Okay. I also checked his body, didn't have anything on him that would give us any more context. But I figured well. if anyone's going to speak to them, it'd be Lena. All I can really do is have tied them up, and it's probably not a good energy to start a conversation no, on. No, probably not. Oh, great, Did... great. Get out of there. Come back, everybody. Maybe leave the sprite to watch him, no? Yeah, I think leave the sprite to watch him to see what he does when he wakes up, but also the sprite can get, deliver a message and say, hey... I'm not doing that. Mm -mm. I mean, why? <laughs> because I don't want to put my sprite in... Fuck, that's the sprite's voice. <laughs> Draven? Well, if the if the creature is invisible, he just like calls out and you know calls in like, "Hey, if you want your thing back, come and go to this place." You know, doesn't have to put the the little guy in risk. I don't particularly want myself to be interacting with this creature more that than I have okay. to. Okay. See through so we can watch. Yes. Yeah. As the lizard come steers out. around to the side and begins going down along the urn towards the arm. Rushing off to the side. As, so as soon as we see, uh, as soon as we see the lizard come out, you wouldn't see it yet. Okay. Yeah. Um. Oh, it's still inside. I think. Well, yeah. It's, so, or, so Draven. No, so just, just, still, just to give you guys it. an idea of the whole scenario, because I think everyone's getting a little bit confused. Draven's got a sprite hanging above the jar, watching. Mm -hmm. He's just seen it come out and start to go around. I assume because you guys are all in the positions you were previously, no one's kind of gone back. Will it be you've taken the jar back towards the inn, yeah? Yes. Yeah. And then so still inside the inn is, is Lena? Uh, on the there? street. You're on the street? Out, yeah. We're like Eldred then looking is still at inside the, jug the inn. Like, and then wow. Draven's main body is still in, the, in there as well. And then Juno, you're down, down by the arc. You would see then... Um, uh, uh, give me a perception check for you, uh, Juno. Me? Yeah. 22. Uh... You'd see if it's as, sight based. It is. It is. You'd see yep. as you're kind of looking. You see the lizard. It goes on the underside of the arm, and he watches. Kind of crawls over to one corner, goes down behind a barrel nearby, and then. <laughs> I've got him. I'll just say in my head like I've got eyes on him right now. Okay. Want me I need to... to point him out? I can you try see... to talk to him. <laughs> Putting on okay. clothes really quickly. You see this kind of. Um, I'll describe. One haired woman. See him. Um, mm -hmm. with kind of very indistinguishable features, very kind of plain looking, um, yep. kind of narrow eyes and, and a little bit like, um, a little bit gaunt, a little bit thin, um, and wears kind of just long baggy clothing that they've just slipped on quickly behind this barrel. And they just walk okay. slowly, rub their chest a little bit and kind of look around. I'll say that you know. Down the street. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'm tailing them, so I'll, I'll keep you, it um... I'll ask Juno, do you see a little, uh, is there any sort of salmon... Uh, anything on them? Do like I also hear this if we're all in yeah, the Yeah, we're all still. They had it on them when I okay. was... Well, are they wearing it? Body. Uh, like, oh, is it visible? Can Juno see if they're wearing it? They they are. Yeah, okay. okay. I say, yep, it's visible. All right. Tell me when they're... Where do you think they're going to come out? And I'm going to just start to... Well, I, yeah, I'll, I'll literally just keep relaying wherever I am. And I'm going right. to spy mm -hmm. Mission Impossible style, just pet tail. I'd like basically. to kind of go 
around so that like where do they come out right i'm just sort of like yeah you know looking at the town i'll take out my coin and start flipping it across my fingers and look like a tourist yeah they keep walking down and looking around suspiciously kind of eyeing they walk right past you going down the street <clears throat> they don't know as they uh I mean, I guess now they're past, that's okay. I'm going to, uh... I'll kind of shake myself and start to follow. Okay. But a little quickly... Not suspiciously, but, you know, just like intently, I guess. Okay. If you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Uh, roll a stealth check. And then Juno, right. give me the same if you're going to be stealthing as well. Yeah, I was going to say, you want me to make one as well. 20 for Juno. I also give you this as well. If you'd like to use charisma, I don't think either of you would. You can use charisma as you're blending into crowds, so it's more of a, you know. No, no, no. Uh, not 20. Okay. 31. Yeah. They're both slipping behind. They start walking down all the way to the bottom of the, the, the statue. You see them slipping off into the city. You still keep on them. Yeah. They're slipping off into the city, like into crowds or like into. They're trying to get the hell away from there. They just got shot. Yeah. They yeah, are. Yeah. They are. They are not wanting to be here. They are looking around, are panicked they... and, and scared. They are trying to get are the hell away. Are they looking right? So they look scared. They look whatever. Oh yeah. Right? Yeah. They just got attacked. They okay. are. They are. They are. They think they're so about to be killed. Is it possible if they've got the the salmon thing on? Is it possible for me to somehow strafe around yeah. so that I can be in front of them? Yeah. They're not sprinting. Okay. So I'd like to go around yeah. so that I can kind of intercept, right? Okay. As they, as they walk up, I'll relay what I'm going to do to everyone. Yeah, and I'll, I'll keep positioning myself. Yeah. So I'm between, like, we're on either side of this figure. So if he chose, if he sees Lena and runs back towards me, I can intercept him maybe in case. Okay. Um, but like... Yeah, so I would like to kind of try to naturally come around, right, and come out of a crowd of people and intercept. And then as I start to walk forward now towards them, I will very, like, obviously I the, right? Okay, so, you, just to, so you're literally trying to be seen by them, yeah? Yes. Okay. Uh, they, they get to the bottom of the so, staircase going down, and they see you. I'm going to look at the thing and I'm just going to go. What? Sit to one side and form into this familiar kind of, not the knock and form, but a very human form, um, which is kind of uh, 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 pale skin, um, very light blonde hair that's almost tucked behind their ears. Um, Shaven on the sides, but tucked around and kind of almost comes down, some almost mullet like. Um, quite skinny features, um, a kind of a, a longer nose, and and uh, kind of very, very sharp jawline. The clothes look a little bit more baggy now, as well, especially. And they, they're looking at Lila. Is, is that how you say your name again? I'm not, I can't remember. Yeah, yeah, Lydia. Lydia. That is right. What did, what did, Are, you was that you? It's just like Romy's. Was what? It, nothing. Are you okay? Uh, 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 we should go. No, I was like. Uh, we should go. We shouldn't talk here. You, the, uh, hey, there is something. Uh, is it dangerous here? Um, I just got here. It's is very it's... dangerous. It's very dangerous, and uh, uh, something very bad is going on. I just I, we need to keep moving. Um, oh, is it? The, I heard there's like a water thing. Like, oh, I don't know anything about people. that. We should really get moving now. I, 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 I shouldn't be here. Um, it, if you want to talk, we can catch up. It's, we can catch up. But, uh, I've really got to go. I've did really you got have to go. To go? I got really, yes, yes, you... uh, yes. I've, I've got the place. You just come with me. And he kind of wanders, kind of gets you by the hand, and kind of pulls you a little bit. Come on. And kind okay, of I'm going to think exactly what I'm doing to everybody. Okay. Yeah, I mean, Juno's watching and relaying everything. Yeah, as well. yeah I mean, I'm I think if everyone has now started to like converge on this new location willoughby would go with whomever was still at the end would draven have still been at like the inn he would have probably called us right back are are dark elves common here in any way yeah yeah you can definitely run into Dra it. draven's draven's gonna walk around the corner and then shift to look like a dark elf 
Okay. Because he doesn't particularly trust this figure and doesn't want them to take his form. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Lena, g- give me we'll mental directions of which way you're walking. Yeah. <laughs> I, oh, that's all right, Lena. You focus. You focus on get get as much information as you can. I've got eyes on you. I can help Eldred and Willoughby find us. Yeah. Uh, and I'm Eldred passing the information on to Draven, who I don't yeah. think is on the call. Right. Or, and then what next I think, time I get know, proficiency. Would, it was just me. <laughs> Okay. I think what Juno might try and do is coordinate because she knows that like Eldred and Willoughby aren't the quietest. So like maybe is like giving them directions like we're here, but maybe yeah. go to this street down like so that they don't see you and stuff like that. Like she's going to try and Yeah, and we're definitely info. like far behind Yeah. in comparison yeah. to you. Yeah, I would definitely assume Willoughby is the farthest behind. I also think he would be going a little slow at first because he'd probably take out the jar yeah what or whatever doing? the thing was and make sure it's corked okay, <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah 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 you That's can cork fair. it because like he didn't have time to do that it's going to a little like cap bit which you can kind of push inside of it um yeah he would do that you see uh he would lead you through the back streets and then kind of go behind some buildings and then go into this kind of like shed like building outside of of almost like a warehouse um and he could have closed in there you immediately get waffed with fish. It's a, it's a good, like, like maybe 30 by 30 feet kind of, like, barrel storage room. And you can okay. see he's got a little kind of uh, bed roll down nice. there and some um, kind of some straw that he's collected and, like, underneath, and he's kind of hardened it. He's got a little bed. He goes in there, and he goes up to one of the windows and just pulls a curtain sheet over Is it. everything and... okay? You seem so, really jittery. Hold on, just making sure that we're not being followed. Why would we be followed? Yeah, I'll, like, duck into an alleyway so, that, you know. What did you roll on your thing? No, he doesn't see. Twenty. Just so, doesn't see you. Sees just under. <sighs> and closes the curtain. Looks at you. Closes the door behind you, uh, Lena. <sighs> I. You might not remember me. I was much younger at the time. I. I. I recognize you though. No, oh, you're very familiar. I. I'm sorry. I don't remember your name. He looks at you and he's kind of like. I don't know you're that you're you. Okay, name of the town that we came from. We never decided that, Joe. <laughs> Up to you to decide now. <laughs> Your backstory. <laughs> you get to decide it. You fucking dick. But I gotta come up with a random name. Come on, that's not fair. We never decided that. You, you just <laughs> say just the name. Town I say the in name. In the distance, somewhere on the map, it's yours now. I did the same thing. Okay, you just no, but it's because it's from it's from mine. right outside there. It's not Joe. You tanked the whole flow of this now. <laughs> no, I you could have said anything. Come you could have said anything. What, dude? Name <laughs> like, of a fucking place. Hey, hey okay. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna backtrack and defend my DM <laughs> here for a second, okay? Uh, uh, I'm very open with you building anything into my world, and that's oh, also yeah. how I suggested it. So Sorry, I assumed yeah. you would have had it. So, Sorry, I wanted to come up with a theme uh, name. I was gonna okay. be like, be uh, I'm from Canada. It's you right can say over. Canada if you know, like. That's fine. I'm not gonna say no, Canada. No. That's not a real place. Everybody knows that would be a fake name. Come on. You could have gone with a thousand. Like, I'm not gonna say then. Canada. I don't know it's you. How do you know it's me? How do I know that you're you? How do I know you don't look like someone that I want you to live by? What do you want to ask me? Do you want to know about uh, what happened to our village? Do you want me to go into excruciating to detail? What do you mean you don't know? Do you want me to go in excruciating detail about how I lost my husband, I lost my daughter? What well, did seems I'm a little convenient? Because you survived it. I wasn't there. How did you survive? I wasn't there. Right. That's what happens. Loki sends story. us out. Stay right there. And he walks <laughs> towards his bed. And like backs off away from you. And leans down. starts rummaging through the straw. And he just brings out a knife. And he's got it in his hand. Just in case. How do I know you're you? Are you try to stab me with a knife? I don't know what you're capable of. You, perhaps you are uh, not who you say you are. Perhaps you are the one who shot me. Why would I shoot you? I didn't even know you were here. What is going on? You are you, really You're telling jittery. me I get shot, and then a, a minute and a half later, I run into you, someone, one of the only people that could have survived. Whatever happened you're to You're also one of the people who survived. Well, yes, because I I, know, like, it would be likely that you would take my story. Why would I take your story? I don't even remember your name. Again, no offense that I don't remember your name. I'm really sorry, but I don't. But now I don't want to tell you my name. That's okay. You can tell me a fake name. 
Do you want me to call you something? Uh, you about want... Ragnar, I'll call you Rag... Oh, Bjorn, okay. That is a good one. Everybody says Ragnar at first. It's super annoying. Yeah, I know. I don't like Ragnar as a name. I know. I never did either. So stupid. Anyway. Do you want me to tell you why I wasn't there? Do you want me to tell you... I don't know. What do you want to ask me? Do you remember my daughter? Do you remember what she looked like? A little bit. I will change form into you looking like my daughter. Does that ring a bell? Do you remember my yes. husband? Do you remember what he looked like? Of course, he was a dick. No offense. He wasn't a dick, and I'm going to change dick. into you. He wasn't a dick. He kept ruining my pranks. No. What were your pranks? Which ones were yours? You know. No, I don't. That's why I'm asking. You would know them. You would know them. I mean, I was the one who... Were you the one that did the thing with, like, you would tie the shoes together No, 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 Oh, thank God, because that's one of the super I was the one that would, you know, collect up all the shit of the animals and then put it outside your doors. No, that's because that was annoying. That's why he ruined the pranks. No one wants shit on their door. That's not a good prank. No. It should be, like, a... That's not that funny. That's, like, a low level. That is, like, baby prank. I turn back to myself. He turns back into his knockin' form, and you see the kind of salmon skin. Um, and he kind of his dog hair kind of tied back. I don't understand though. So you did survive? Are there lots more survivors? I mean, I don't know. I've I came back. I was out, right? Which, I was. Sh what? The window just looks out there. You see a cat scurry past. <sighs> You're so jumpy. No, I'm not. I, I, no, I was just double-checking You have really... Did you put shit outside somebody's door? Uh, yes. And now you think they're going to get you? Yes. I don't think that is true, but I'll let it go it's, for it's, right it's now. My, it's my calling card. I... It's your calling card. I just... Uh, yeah, I just... I maybe put it out in front of the wrong person. That's all. Not a big deal. Oh. Uh, so I'm just going to lie low here for a little bit and then maybe just slip away. Okay. Um, How did you survive? Well, I, I was not home. What are you doing? Well, this is embarrassing. It's okay. Tell me. It's more embarrassing than putting shit on someone's door? That is not embarrassing. That is funny. I was, um, I was out collecting flowers. Why is that embarrassing? Because it was for a girl I liked. Why is that embarrassing? Well, because everyone died and... I spent the day away from it, collecting flowers joyfully whilst everyone I knew was getting killed. But it's a little embarrassing. I don't think you should be embarrassed about that. I was out... ...collecting information. I go where Loki tells me to go. I collect the information and I bring it back and I was gone. That is what I thought And too. I came back. I'm Renaki. Renaki. I'm sorry, I did not remember your name. Are okay. you okay? You seem we didn't like... didn't speak, really. A little bit. Do you need help? Um... You just came to town? Uh, you just came to the city? Yeah, like... Was... We haven't spent the night, right? It's like, this is all... Is this yeah, all the same day? day. Yeah. yeah. Literally today. We just got here. We saw there was like some crazy thing going on with the water. Yeah, that was me. And we were, like, I'm walking... Yeah, so they might uh, really be angry if they find, and I think <laughs> I've just been discovered. Like really, really, you really did angry. The, you did the water, you may are turning people to babies? Why? Yes. Because it is a prank. Uh, because I was, this... uh, I was trying to get Loki's attention. He's... Oh. He, he helped did me a little bit. Look, he, he helped you how? Well, he's the one who blessed the, the, the drug to do, as I said. Um, but he didn't really... Uh... Did he tell you to bring it here? Loki and I uh, are some of the closest from our town. I did not uh, uh, boast about this because others would get jealous that he spent so much time with me, but he w I would consider him a friend. Uh, but he just, he went quiet oh. for a long time and I kept trying things to get his attention. And then, and then, and then, so I got his attention and he blessed it. What did you do to get his attention? Well, I collected the milk of 30 smart. different mammals and uh, I, I put it into the jug and, uh, and okay. I, 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 I told him my idea. I said that the people here are, are 
so obsessed with Frigga. You know, she loves children so much. She loves children so much. Let's see her entire city turn to children. I thought it'd be really funny. I I, I extended, I, I, I kept it small for a long time. I thought I'd do something big and he, he paid attention for once and he paid attention, he blessed it. I woke up and it, it would continuously pour. Did you talk to pour. him? Did no. he talk to you? No, 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 I no. woke up the next day, but I assumed that once I did this, he would he would come down and maybe make it more potent or he would he would he would let me go. I didn't know when to stop. He didn't really talk to me. I've been trying, I've been trying. And and he hasn't said anything and, and I've just been waiting up there. It's been weeks. And and uh, they never come up there. Uh, uh, I made sure of that. But the, the, but the, but, but, but uh, uh, he's not he's not oh, responding. So what have you tried to do to talk to him since he did know. the water? I don't... I don't know. I didn't. I didn't know how to up it from here. I. I, I didn't want to expose the... uh, everything by going down and trying different pranks. I thought that if I did that, then maybe I would get caught, and then it would get really bad. So I just thought that maybe he's just waiting for more people to change. So uh, I. I might have, you know, um, gave a little idea to what happened to 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 host an old man competition, to you know, share out the drink and 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 you know. I went along there as an old man, and I said, you know, what if we could all get young and turn it into a betting thing? And now a lot of the old people have gone and done that, so there are more. But but I think right. now we've got dozens of people who have turned into, uh, you know, young. But it, it's not it's not said anything. It hasn't done anything. I don't know. I didn't know if I should stop or not. So I was just waiting. You didn't have an exit plan at all. You're just going to keep doing it until what? I don't know. I thought that maybe, uh, you know, a few days in, I thought, okay, this is good enough, right? But he didn't say anything to me, so I thought, okay, I'll wait a little longer. Maybe I'll get more. And then I did the old man thing, and I thought, okay, that's a few more. So, uh, I mean, I sat up there early thinking, well, does he want me to change everyone to children? Like, I don't know, maybe that's too far. Maybe that's really bad with, with the whole war thing, you know? And at the same time, it's not like Gandrick's going to invade and kill, you know, hundreds of children. That would be... Uh, would they? I don't know. I, it before, might have gone far. Before the village was destroyed, Renaki, when you had tried to get Loki's attention, when, when Loki was your best friend, right? Yes. How did you get his attention then? What did you do? He would appear to me. He would just appear to you? Um. We shared a lot of uh, similarities. And I was... Uh, I was brought into a family that was not my own. I had a, a a nephew figure that was brutal and quite big, and he would often be quite bullish to me. And I think we shared a kinship there. And so when I first would make uh, little pranks, I'd leave him little offerings. And I would carve little wooden masks in the style of his. And Sometimes the masks would speak to me, and I know it would be him. How could you tell it was him? Were you yeah. worried it was a prank someone else was doing on you? No. You could just tell? It was just a feeling. And and besides, there was nothing pranking me. If, if, if I come out happy and joyful all the way through, and I not, there was no joke on me. That is true. That is a good kind of prank, right? When you feel better about it. Renaki, I think there is a bit of a problem here. Yes, there's a big I problem. Think... I just got shot, and and they have they have the jug, okay. and then they could take it to... to... back to me. So we need to turn into different people, and we. Need how to will they know? Them. How will they know that you had the jug? Does it have identifying? How, how will they know it was you? I put my name on the inside. Renaki, you put your name on it. Prank. Because I thought that by the time I had done the... this, I would have got away from it, and and and, and, and uh, but I didn't. Expect, I thought I would be the one to stash the jug somewhere. I was going to put it right as an offering to to Frigga in the secret keeper's room, and uh, it, it it says on the inside, Renaki's little secret. I thought oh, it was funny. Renaki. This is all gone a little out of hand. Um, it is a little out of hand, right? On a small prank. Matter, right? It does not matter. On a, on a small prank, Renaki, like, I'm going to put a shit on a doorstep. 
It might be funny to have your name there and everyone knows you are the doorstep shitter, right? You what? won't really want that nickname, but it could be funny. Something like this. This is a whole city, Hrenak. This is a big deal. I know. Okay. Oops. I will kind of think to the group. Yeah, I was going to say, we might be at yeah, the point where, like, a, we're all like, Lena, a you couple okay? quick, just like, he just spilled everything. He thought he was getting Loki's attention. We are in a fish-smelling uh, little shack, and I'm talking to him. There's no need to break in right now. Maybe just give it a few minutes for everyone to catch up, and then... Okay, well, I'm outside, just... and I think Willoughby and Eldridge are on their way. Draven's on their way. Well, I'm with, okay. I'm with Draven. Uh, okay. I'm not sure how far out we are. Okay. Okay. Probably I mean, wait, it... like, half a block away or something. Are we... You know what's the we've got the jar uh, this we could uh, just say it fell out of we the could other just, jar we could just go and uh, the water will go back to normal right without the milk it's, it it will return to normal I people will quite... just think oh the curse is lifted Hrenaki, i'm um, cuz yeah. i don't want him to just watch me just fugue out <laughs> like not say anything do you think you could try to contact loki right now do you think you could try to call him and yeah. let us see what happens, yeah? Yeah. And then I will say to everyone else, I'm going to try to, I'm going to ask him to try to call Loki. He, this is a prank that got way out of hand. I do actually feel quite bad for him. Uh, he <sighs> reaches down into the happens. straw and you see him pull out a small wooden mask with two eye holes and a mouth. And he's, <clears throat> I'll pull up, I have my coin out at the same time. Places on his face. Loki. Loki, uh, I think I think the prank worked, uh, but it's uh, getting a little bit uh, bad around here. You know how like Thor used to chase you around. This is like Thor chasing me around now. It's very bad. Um, should I call it an end? And he takes the I mask off and then okay. places it down on the side, kind of against the wall. And you wait, and the mask talks back to you sometimes? Yes. How long do you have to wait? It, Typically. No longer than 20 seconds or so. Okay. 20 seconds pass, and nothing happens. I'm flipping the coin on my hand, and I'm going to say... It was a pretty good prank. He outwitted the entire town, all of the secret keepers, the secret themselves. Are going to abandon him? And take the chance he might never do another really good prank for you? Are you going to try to help him out? What was the plan here? Were you ever involved at all? This coin doesn't do as you ask. It works like a normal coin. Do you think he's dead? Hrenaki. <laughs> I don't think... I think at the very least he is very busy right now. And I don't think that he is going to help you. Sometimes. Do you know why? Do you know what happened to the village? Right? You were out picking flowers. Do you know why it was destroyed? No. But you saw it, right? You saw, I saw lightning. the wreckage. You saw, you saw lightning. It is so far away. Like a storm. Yeah. It was. Poor. How big was your family? I don't remember. You had it was you and it was only I had like my three. The, the nephew. I had, right. I had my sister. And then they had other family. I don't like to think of them. Yeah, I know. It is pretty sad. 
We lost our whole families, Renaki, because Thor was angry at Loki that day. He's angry at him all the time, right? Loki is angry at Thor. Loki is angry sometimes at Odin. Loki is sometimes angry at Freyr, right? At Balder. Loki yeah. is, well, maybe not Balder, right? But Loki gets, he does pranks. That's his thing. That's what we do, right? Petty. We do pranks too. Yes. Yeah, sometimes they are petty, right? Sometimes they are funny. Sometimes they are shit on but the pettiness doorstep. Pettiness is funniest, I say. Sometimes it is funny, Renaki. Our whole lives were destroyed as a consequence of a series of pranks. Thor was angry that day, and we were in the way. And Loki did nothing. He did nothing. Didn't intervene. He didn't That's try he to spent stop his whole Thor. Time running away. What does that say about him? Our whole village. Our existence, who we are as a people, we actually owe to Loki, right? Yes. We do. We would not exist if it were not for him. And how does he take care of us and that responsibility? He ran away. He ran away and he let everyone die. And when I came home and I could not find my husband, and I could not find Briette. And the whole village was washed away. There was nothing there. And I said, How are you going to let how are you going to answer this? I'm ready. I will fight Thor right now. And there was no we response. Don't fight. There was no response for years. There was no response. I never... We don't fight. But we retaliate, we get back, we would pull a prank, we would do something. Loki doesn't just do nothing. You get back at people. No one has ever gotten back. How do we get back at Thor? That back. is ridiculous. We are, uh, gods kill us. That's just what happens. It is not... What I am saying right now... It's true, right? How do we get back at Thor? I don't know. I'm going to try to find a way. I don't know. But what I do know is this. You just tried to contact Loki. I just tried to contact Loki. You are in a bit of a bind. And he did not answer. I know this. I know that he abandoned us eight years ago in that village. And I feel like he's still abandoning us right now. That is what I'm telling you. It was a good okay. idea for no, a I prank. Understand. It was a good idea. And now it has gone too far. And I think... That you should go. Do you have somewhere to start over? I don't You know how to here. do it. You. I was just passing through. I'll go. I'll go. I'll get my things. Um. Am I going to die with whatever you shot me with? Didn't shoot you, Renaki. How do you feel right now? Fine. You feel fine? Then you are likely fine. Have you ever been shot before? No. It hurts, huh? Not really, actually. You'll be okay. It... Okay. What's everyone else doing, by the way? Just sitting on the curb, waiting. I mean, have we... So we've absolutely arrived close to the destination, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? By this point, you're going to be right outside. Right we'll be probably close. fucking twiddling his thumbs, maybe taking out the jar and just, like, looking at it. Yeah, yeah. Draven probably tell Willoughby something else concerning to make him look at him like... Oh, yeah, I want to look at the jar uh -huh. with Willoughby. Okay. Yeah. I am no way fucking near that jar. I go to the <laughs> other side of the street. Yeah. Oh, Wilby doesn't. I, I feel like there is a definite, like, Wilby kind of, like, moves the jar away from Eldred just because of all the crazy I stuff just you've just. I want to see it. You should. I, it is irresponsible for me to let you see this jar. To let me see it? 
You have been, I would describe it as an unhealthy fixation on the baby. And I don't want to see you just pick this jar up and go just to just really down the whole thing. Because I feel like there's a chance, it's not a hundred percent, but there's a chance you would. I won't touch it then if you don't want me to, but I want to see it. Okay, here it is. You see with your eyes now with your hands. He holds it very far away. Here it is. Just a normal jar. It's got some stuff in it. I put a cork have, in it. Does it have so like wouldn't... arcane markings or something to make it? I don't know. I haven't things. had time to check that yet. But I figured that's what we're doing right now. I think. I mean, I wanted to it. wait like an hour so I could get some rest because I just transformed two <laughs> times into a newt. We should do it outside of the town, probably. Okay. Yes. You think we'll have to kill that weird newt kid? Why? No. I don't see why. Yeah. Didn't she just say she just honestly told us they that seem it's kind of pathetic? Gone too far. Would, or yeah. I, did like she tell did. us that part? I don't know how much yeah. she's actually told. Okay, she did. That us. I mean, well then, what? Like, we what can't do we do? just kill people for being pathetic. Like we just take the jar no. and leave. Yeah, we just go. We get what we came here. Problem like solved. Focus, but I mean, if we want to cash out on it. We bring the yeah. jar over. We could to tell the, a the secret, secret if we want, but but we can make sure yeah. he gets away first. We don't care that he. Also, well, they're gonna ask a lot lives. of questions. I mean, look, they're they're alive, and what are we gonna do? We hand him over to the secret keepers. They're going to kill him. Yeah, they're going I don't to think it's worth that. Absolutely execute him. Yeah. I don't think it's worth that, and we know that nothing else is going to happen. And it sounds like well, he may be one of the only other of Lena's people around we don't know how many of them survived so i don't know i'd feel bad doing anything with that but also the other thing i was thinking of if we give this jar to the secret keepers they're gonna ask us where we got it how we got it what it was <sighs> yeah Flopped maybe right out of the damn thing regardless draven here's what i know i think it falls on later to make that call sure that makes sense as far as what we do with them i, I respect also that, know but that i don't they... agree with that that you can but i also know that at least according to the secret keepers this can be cured mm. and i'm sure that do we know how it can be cured is my they concern said, they said powerful, powerful healers healing. uh magic i suspect do we know maybe that that with enough free? time they can do it for everybody don't know if they didn't say if it was free or if it has some cost to it um they said it was just only a few could do it i think that is, that is part of why I'm concerned. If it is a means of financial wealth, and from what we've seen, there are plenty who are less well off, did drink the water. Are they stuck like this? And what can we do? What do you, what do you suggest? That is what, it is not that I have a suggestion, it is a weight that I felt was worth discussing. Yeah, it's worth discussing. I don't think that there's anything that we can do. Yeah. Bringing that knocking and essentially be executed doesn't really. It doesn't fix it. It doesn't fix reverse the it. Mm -hmm. um, it could and be tomorrow... that maybe Frigga will help them in some way. Maybe she feels sorry yeah. for them. We've tomorrow, done everything uh... we can beyond killing this boy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, we and that's really all we can walk away with. Right. Tomorrow, I was going to try to like see if removing a curse would work, but now I just, if it's just this thing, I don't think it's a curse. I think it needs to be something. I mean, it could different. still be a curse. I mean, it is, it is like they, they called it a curse. Maybe it still is. Uh, the secret keepers called it a curse. It might be worth trying. Does it have a cost for you to do that? Like, uh, does it cost like, do you need ingredients or is it just like some of your power or? No, I just, I just some words, some motions. Might be worth trying. Go back to that uh, sign kit and try it on him just to see if it works. I mean, may, yeah. I just be, no, I'd be curious to know if it works. But we do have to go to the sign <laughs> kit anyway. Tell them you'll figure out his two hundred gold secret. Otherwise, like let us try this cure on you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hey, I, I think if we, it, off, no if, if it, there's no going to be no harm to trying, right? Um. So yeah. I think we find out what Lena wants to do about this other the, the culprit. Um, 
we figure out what we do maybe we stay the night we make we get our supplies like we talked about and then i think me, me personally i'm happy I, I think that this is done i think it's as done as we can make it uh, as, as we've done everything we can I feel like opinion. I've been in. I feel like we've been. It feels like weeks we've been in this place. I you, for a man who for a tree man who spent a, an eternity <laughs> standing guard, you don't have a lot of patience for certain things. I don't so have a lot of patience this? for babies crawling around on the sidewalks. Yeah, yeah, okay. It's, it's, yeah. Two days. I get it. <laughs> it has been two days, Willoughby. So what? what we've been here? We've been just one day. day. Guys. Only it's been yeah. hours. Oh yeah. It's been like two hours. Yeah. <laughs> it's just usually stuff so slow on the road yeah. when we're just walking through woods, and uh, then everything happens in Burka over the course of four hours. It's true. It's just a lot. We make things happen, you know. We make things happen. No, I feel like things were happening without us. Oh, but now we're, we're actually so, stopping look, the thing. We from we turn up. Yeah, we make we fixed stop. it. Stop. Exactly. Yeah, we fixed it. Think. We did good. Gonna... And we <laughs> I don't can know be how long this. this conversation is going on inside. I think Wildy would be trying to catch a short rest. He's not going to look at okay. this like jar without some celestial guidance. Okay. Um, inside you'd see uh, Renaki looks to you. Lena says, uh, uh, I'll go and change my name for a while. Maybe I'll go up to Gandvik. I mean, at least that way, if I get caught up there, they they might give me a drink uh, for what I did instead of... Uh, I don't... I don't know Gandvik is the place to go. Aren't they, like, getting ready to... Like... Aren't they ramping up their military? Yeah, don't... Uh, do you want to get conscripted into an army? Like, maybe don't go there. Maybe go, like, somewhere It's not... very easy to get away from all that. I mean, I get conscripted one on day, I change the next day into someone else. It is easy, you know. I'd get away from that. I just need to make sure I don't get followed by whatever that weird little thing was. Tiny little no, dot. What are you talking about? What did, what I got hit by a tiny little dot, it's... and I nearly fell, I fell, okay. fell asleep, and then the, the jar was gone. And in the, okay. I, I, it was like buzzing. It is, it is the last thing I heard. It is, there is a creature. Uh, trying okay. to kill me, trying to, but my body was too strong, so I I, I was held against it. <laughs> did it like? And I got away. Did it talk to you? Did it? No, no. Did it just shut you? I had okay. a slightly high pitched sound before I fell asleep, but then my body kicked away the toxins really quickly. Um, uh, it was but you fell asleep from the toxins first. Well, very you briefly. Be careful of like maybe person. five seconds, I'd say. Uh, oh, five seconds. About five seconds before my body kicked it out. Okay. Renaki, I'm a little bit troubled because I feel like... You had some poor judgment here, to put it mildly. I get why you wanted to do big prank. I get why you miss Loki. I got it. I miss him too. I never blamed him like you did. I I just thought of it like Thor was the dick, and they're all dicks. I I, I know I know I know. And it's just it was hard to leave everything behind. At least this way, mm, I was going twice. with my best friend. And now that he doesn't listen, it means that I've got no one again. And. It is very hard to make friends now. And I suppose that is... I've kind of known it. I just didn't really want to think about it. Can I tell you something? Sure. It has been... about eight years, right? <laughs> I think for... About seven years and seven months, I didn't make any friends either. Didn't need them, didn't want them. You're right, it is difficult. It is hard to make friends, especially if you move around a lot, right? And I made a friend, and she is very lovely and very smart and very brave and even a bit of a warrior, though she thinks she is not. 
And then I met more people. And I don't know that they are all friends, but I know that they could be. And it can happen. They're here in the city with me. We all came together. I think you need to be careful. You know? Yeah. I will be. I usually am. I guess this is just you my last ditch attempt are. to get his attention. I just missed The other you. day. I know. The other day, I saw something and I thought, but Loki would really like to hear about this. I don't use a mask with the coin. And I had the idea for a pretty good prank. And I held the coin in my hand. And I said what I thought could happen. And he responded. I don't think he has gone entirely. But I also don't know how much faith you can put that he will always be there for you. Do you know what I mean? You're going to have to... You should never tell me that. At least before I had the idea to like it, but then maybe he's dead, maybe he's just gone. Maybe you couldn't hear me. Maybe he's busy. Maybe he's doing other things. I don't know. I'm angry, you're right, and I do blame him. I think it is... Lydia, I... Can I tell you? I'll, I'll tell you something else. Do you know what name I go by now? What? <laughs> Lena. And your friends just accept that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, they... Yeah. They don't sound very smart. <laughs> uh, I thought it was pretty obvious. I thought somebody would be like... No, no, no. You need to make it a, a, a more obvious. You need to have a... Uh, make your name an anagram or something, you know? I'm not going to actually name myself, like, I thought... Hey, I oh, got someone to Someone will know, like... Going to where you're going to go? I don't know. But I do know there is a tiny little creature trying to kill me. And that my jack has been stolen. And that they are going to capture me if I do not get out of here. But I do want you to know this. Even though we're not friends and I thought you were that weird wife of the, the dickhead. Not a dickhead. It's a little bit of a dickhead. You put shit on the doorstep. It was funny at the time. It was never funny. Uh, it's funny the first time. I'm trying to be really nice here. I just... I'm glad that someone else made it. And... Even though I lost a best friend... It is almost like we are a little bit family. You know, distant. And... Yes. I don't know, maybe there will be a bit of comfort in that. Don't lose your pin, huh? I won't lose it. And I see you again. I saw... We'll catch up properly. And I can tell you all about the pranks I did. I did see another one of us. Down from towards... Um, not from our village, down towards Herat. I didn't know them. But we're out there. So make sure you take care of the pin. We're very lonely people. Yeah. Come up with some good pranks that aren't too big for you, that I'm aren't so dangerous. That. But could you do me a big favor? Could you not go around talking about the shit thing? I don't want to be I known won't. for that. I was much younger at the time. I've improved. I know you were. I'm very sorry. I mean, sorry. this whole baby thing was pretty fucking good. I, 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 I mean, I feel bad. Honestly, I feel really bad. But I, at the same time, you know, it when the secret keepers idea. come down, they drink some of it and you see them little... Little child appear in the robes and the little mask pulls off. It is very funny. And if it is for those moments that really you find the joy in life a little bit. Like I do feel bad. Yeah, mostly glass full of bad, little bit of a top of, you know, funny at the same time. So I will listen things. Just make sure you have an exit strategy next time, huh? 
I just want to put it out here. He leans down. He picks up the mask. But I will take this just in case. You know, maybe. He just loops it back onto his belt. This place stinks. Let's get that out of here. I forgot this mess. And he kind of pulls up a little bag over his shoulder and then morphs into kind of an elderly man and then slowly slips out, walking beside you and walking down to the street where you all are. He goes, <clears throat> Oh, thank you, dear. I think I know the way from here. We'll be like, puts away the jar <laughs> very slowly. <laughs> what you need to just see? I'm assuming the timing, at least yeah. as far as I'm concerned, was around the same time that Eldred was trying to look at the jar and will be taking it out. So he's very slowly trying to pocket it back into the bag. <clears throat> you mean stepping back? Don't worry, Ranaki. We were your exit plan. It is fine. Go. <laughs> oh, okay. And you see him off into a slightly younger man. He starts walking with a brisk pace and uh, and heading <laughs> down into the street, slipping into the crowd. And before he goes, he looks towards you and just does a little and just and then slips away. And you hear, you see for a moment his hair color change as he morphs to someone else in the crowd. So I take it we're not going to be bringing him in to be executed. I knew him. He was a kid, and his favorite prank when he was a kid was to leave shit on our doorstep. He used to oh, drive God. my husband crazy. <laughs> it's not even that good of a prank, but when you're a kid, it's funny, right? At the first time, it was funny, and then it was like every week. <laughs> it was not so funny. I... <laughs> he missed Loki. And he was trying to get his attention, and he got it, I think. He said that he gathered the milk of 30 different creatures. And he prayed to Loki to bless it. He told him his idea for the prank, which was exactly what we thought it was. And he woke up, and the jug was blessed. And he thought he would do it for a day and then be done. And he kept waiting for Loki to appear and tell him he did a good job. Hmm. And he got in over his head. He missed his friend. He missed his god. Well, that's funny because I almost... Before we created this plan, I almost sent him a message being like, Look, he recognizes you are a <laughs> Oh. But now we have the jar, so I like this better. I know, I'm not going to use it. Oh, me. you didn't have a chance of using it, all right? I'm going to figure out what the hell this actually does first. Or I'll let you go anywhere near it. Weird okay. fascination with the jar. I <laughs> just see the possibilities away. as... A, a pacifist weapon. They're not going to babies. They're not going to fight you. They can't hold a sword. Yeah. So what the hell are we doing now? This was... This was... We can what find we somewhere to sleep. Tomorrow, we learn things. Mm -hmm. And we head out. Unless you. someone wants to give a secret or I don't know what else to be done here. Get you winter clothes. Mm -hmm. Oh you shit, we have get to get clothes. winter clothes. I'm going to get winter clothes. I want to see if I can uh, buy some barding for Zipelli. If there's somebody in town that may there's maybe able to make to some. Like... Maybe that can have her on it too. Like Although, winter barding. How much money do you even have? Barding costs quite a bit. I've got about 300. I didn't know if that would be enough. I, I don't planned. know. I don't know if it is. Wait, I'll what, what, what is get. that word? Bard? Bard 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 like armor for horses. Oh, like ar horse is armor. armor? Oh, then maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. Above board, the barding I bought from my mount in Godforged was 2,000 gold. I we'll believe. say this though. <laughs> gold is different across campaigns. Here you'll get, uh, because magic items and also a lot of stuff 
is not usually available for purchase because it's not really crafted here you'll find that you're going to get less gold from from uh from quests and and uh, uh and whatnot but it goes a longer way so like everything's reduced price but it's still going to be expensive yeah it's worth looking into though who knows you might oh, find I mean, a bargain. It, yeah maybe you know it's a five minute job to go around and ask and then if they say no oh great okay we move on no no big deal yeah. um but it sounds like if we want to we should stay the night anyway i mean we've been camping out on the road we should stay in a nice bed have some good food get supplies eldred can try this uh cuss removal um, we see if that works. Uh, you know, oh, maybe we idea. can help a few more people. Um, but it sounds like it sounds like there's nothing. I mean, I guess we take the the weird milk with us. But uh, I mean, it sounds like it, things will just go back to normal here, and uh, everyone will be better off uh, eventually. How eventually. about? Ooh, one of us should go tell a secret, and the secret should just be that the water's back to normal. Not me. You know? Not it. Not in. No. Nope. <laughs> I just I think mean, we could just we could do that, but I I, I just think they'll figure that free, out. It'd be a pretty easy way to make a little bit of cash. Right, if you want to go to the guy who buys the secrets, that's the one different. Who suggested it. Yeah, I buying the guy who say. buys it. Yeah. We could. How about it. I drink some of the water? I from said the jar you wanted now. To... The the one oh. that is no longer baby jar, the baby water. What if there's still some residual like? There might be there. residual. Also, I think the gods okay, are stopping people from lie. drinking. The gods are maybe, stopping people maybe from Maybe wait, like, for the night before you drink out of the jar. But I, I want to be able to tell them I drank the water yesterday and I'm fine. Like, the water's fixed. Okay. But, could I just lie? I feel like they would know if I was lying. I don't know how it works, right? I also don't really get it because I feel like... I think it's very silly. Like, Frick is, like, you're supposed to keep a secret, right? And not spill it, not tell a secret. And then the whole temple is like, tell us your secret. And then you Yeah, and then there's a market. Are you supposed to keep it? Yeah. It seems weird to me. Yeah. A lot of your stuff seems weird to me, so. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. There's a lot of weird shit. Draven, yeah. your um, thing really freaked him out a lot. What the oh. hell is that thing? It's got a snake head. He said like head? something Some kind shot of a dart at thing. him. He didn't know what it was. Mm. And then it made like a real high pitched It noise. talked to me. It sounded like this. Oh, it talks to you. Oh, it sounds like that. Strange. It's um, someone who serves my family. So I brought them oh, with shit. me. Do you have like a little helper? What's their name? Cool. Wadjet. Wadjet? Wadjet? Yes. Wadjet. Cute. Draven, can hmm. I ask you something? Sure. Just came up in my conversation with Renaki. You said your name isn't Draven. It is not. Do you have to keep your name secret? I don't have it's to. safer for you? I just don't trust people. Yeah, I get that. Does Draven mean anything? Not really. There was, um, a raven I saw. Sense of dread. And I had long to <laughs> I decided That's I wanted catchy. to be a sense of dread. A draven. That's a pretty hardcore. Mm. I'm not going to lie. When I commit to something, I will succeed or die. That is the way we live. What are you committed to now? Punishing Zeus. Mm -hmm. That is the only reason that I am here. He wronged my family. So I will wrong him. I understand that, that feeling that. a lot. I don't... understand the concept of people not being punished for misdeeds that harm many. 
I struggle with that. So okay. what would you what what punishment do you see fitting for the man who did this? I am disappointed he did not seek any sense of recom He left with no responsibility. He okay. didn't say he needed to be turned over, but he did not take responsibility. If I make a mistake, you all hold me accountable very quickly. Reasonable, and as should be. I struggle with that. This fair. Mm -hmm. If I do not keep my own oath, it is like breaking an oath to my family. And I will never do that. Yeah. Yeah, I can understand that. I just don't know what we could have done. We could have told him accountable to ourselves, I suppose. We could have, I don't know, uh, taken him to a different yeah, place. Yeah, it seems like there was no but... middle ground available. I think... I hold you all to much higher standards than I do the we encounter on this journey. My disappointment is more in him than any of you. I think, he chose um, to leave. Yeah. I mean, it sounds like this, I mean, to be a from a place of Loki, who seems to be a very fickle and sort of carefree agent, I don't know if Loki holds bonds to the same regard. Not, I don't, from just my assumptions and what I've learned on these travels, but Loki does not seem to keep to promises, it seems. It is more like... You can have so many promises, right? And it becomes very intricate and how they all fit together and it becomes a sort of dance, right? In which yes. one that you promise to make sure that it doesn't conflict with this promise to make sure it doesn't conflict with this one. And I think that Sometimes we lie, right? We lie, not we collectively. I mean, sometimes the children of Loki, that is what we do, right? We are his children and we come from him. He made us. And when you live like that for a long time, it can be hard to think outside of your own self like that, right? And hard to um, have a sense of accountability, I think. And Renaki is young, and I don't think he is there yet. And I think this made him think quite a bit. And I hope that that he can change like I did. I mean, it was eight years ago, the village was destroyed. And I just told Renaki that for about seven years and seven months, I was alone. I went through so many different faces, so many different names. <laughs> <laughs> Lena just means hidden. <laughs> it's not even a name. It's just what it means. It's like a little joke that sometimes we call ourselves. And so if another knock-in hears the name, they're like, oh, I get it, right? Mm. Um, and then I met Elthrid. And we became friends, and now I know you, right? And we are friends, or becoming friends. And I don't think Renaki has that yet, and I hope that he will have that, but... I understand what you mean, Raven. I'm sorry that... Um... I'm sorry that he let you down. I'm sorry that he let himself down. <laughs> and I think he has the opportunity to do better, and I think he will. I'm sorry I shot him. I'm not. It was kind of funny. He was really freaked out. Um, that is a prank on him. We learn lessons through pain and through failure. I think he learned both in this case. Uh, and I think, like, as, as we're kind of maybe turning to go, do you know, or just sort of pat Lena on the shoulder, oops, um, and say uh, something along the lines of, um, I may not know, I did not know that that's what Lena meant to you, 
But to me, Lena means a friend. And just sort of leave Appreciate it at that. that too, no. Also, I can't get off. I've got Brizzy up and I don't know how to hide it so that it goes to everyone again. I'll click on Brizzy's <laughs> camera again. What? There we go. <laughs> I do that all the time by mistake. The whole time yeah. I was saying that, it was just Brizzy and I was like, how do I get off this? I don't know how. <clears throat> anyway, but yeah. Okay. So you can slip away to... Uh, uh, is there anything you wanted to do before you go and rest up? What time are you about to go track the alchemist? See if you know her? Uh, probably only about I midday. I do not know them. Okay. I can tell you I do not know them. You might. Let's go shopping and then let's go to the alchemist. Maybe she has fun things to buy. I mean, yeah. Sure, I mean, that's more a better Things like potions maybe and things. Maybe Willoughby knows them. Yeah. Yeah, it has nothing to do with that. Let's go. <laughs> what? Yeah, nothing. What? Uh, okay. Yeah, you can go shopping. Maybe, maybe this alchemist will know what to do about this jar thing. I mean, she—they said that she was blessed by Frigga. Maybe, maybe she can help get rid of it, or like maybe like yeah. we could give it to her in secret. There's and... so many possibilities. I Let's get you warm clothes first. Yeah, that's easy. Uh, okay. Shopping, warm clothes, uh, shopping. shopping. Yeah, <laughs> passing across some uh, shopping. Uh, uh, so you can buy yourself some warm clothes. Probably only a, uh, how warm do you want to go? Do you want to get like whatever, full whatever help, Eldridge or? and that tell me? Yeah, I mean, like okay. literally whatever Can these I, guys tell me. I, is, I think is what Willoughby would use. definitely contribute having traveled into yeah. the mountains before. Yeah. It, yeah. You will notice, like, once you start getting past, like, like the portion you are now, it, the winters can get pretty harsh, but summers are, are not too bad. Once you get past probably into Ganvik, uh, and northern Ganvik, especially, but like Utgard and around that area, especially. Things get very cold. And the mountains north of there, freezing. So, the more layers, the better. Um, uh, you can spend a good, like, 15 gold to buy yourself, like, a, a cutting of a pelt and some extra kind of just clothing and padding. Um, mm -hmm. If you go on the more expensive side, 25 gold will get you clothing that will help you massively against... Uh, yeah, I mean, Juno would probably spend the 25 because, like, she doesn't really carry anything else. You would not go to so. one freeze to death Let out there. Get the most, I'd be the most prepared as you can. We'll be sure. keep pushing the most overkill option yeah, yeah. possible. What? Juno can't move her arms. She's like a kid, like, in a snowsuit. You'll thank what? me when you're up there. <laughs> I got just golden wisdom. Yeah. Uh, golden wisdom is just going to roll you along like a dung beetle. Um, <laughs> what do you imagine uh, Juno's clothing to look like, then, if you're going to go for just I... for warm? Well, I think that like it would be uh, based on like her current outfit. She would do things like she would get like uh, like leggings like to mm -hmm. go underneath what she currently wears. So it's like trying to keep as much of the Messer guy and look and her outfit yeah. as much as she can. But it's like getting the under layers, um, a big sign of like cloak that she can wear, maybe like a big sort of like yeah. proper well-made yeah. one, um, proper boots because she only has like her sandals. So she'd yeah. probably get like actual boots. Um and stuff like that, I think. I you can definitely get some and like snowy shoes kind of attachments you can put onto the bottom of your uh, your sandals as well and then get some padding mm -hmm. and like longer socks and everything as well. Um, yeah, and I think that, again, because being a monk, right, I don't really have much equipment, so she'd probably mm -hmm. get like a backpack and she like, you know, she probably would just take the sandals off and wear proper, you know, you know, yeah. uh, you know uh, mid-guardian boots and things like that um, and just keep it, yeah, just pretty, pretty simple. Maybe like a big, like maybe ra rather than a cloak, it's more like a poncho, like a big kind of warm poncho. So her That's hands, so she doesn't need to wear like gloves and stuff, but she keeps it warm. Okay. Yeah. Like a big slanket. Yeah, big, nice. You imagine you know, yeah, dude. leather and fur and, and, you know, wax leather kind of slanket with fur on the inside. Yeah, you'd buy um, a series of these clothing, spend the 25 gold and come out pretty heavily duty uh, for kind of to counter the cold. Um, yeah. A decent, a decent. Eldred would also get similar stuff. Uh, black okay. cloaks and more fur pelts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And stuff. Just keep just, just carrying on. Just yeah. buy this like fur trader out of stuff. And then yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you definitely things. like exhausted with their stuff. You can see they're pretty happy yeah. spending the 50 gold and whatever fur they've kind of cut. Um, I get some too. Okay. I'll um, I'll mark the off and go for totally a backpack as well. Okay. Yep. Like a big sturdy backpack. Okay. You shop for all of the clothing buy your kind of needs there and then you're heading to the alchemist right why not yeah sure. we'll all play that one because it's probably gonna be a bit more important in terms of just like you know what you're actually purchasing but um you would head out to the 
kind of far part of the, the, the actually no it's not even that far out um you'd go kind of past the statue and walk past a series of buildings and there's one building that kind of almost looks a little bit awkward it, it it's the only kind of hay top building in this one section of, of of clay buildings around it um and outside you can hear you can hear like a rustling of like 20 people gathered who are calling saying you see a few of them kind of like step forward, come out face the justice admit what you've done and you see like a couple of children around them as well being like you've knocked off years of my life come out and I'm turn yourself sorry. into the secret keepers and you can see this kind of crowd is almost like protesting outside this little shop that's kind of just embedded against a couple other buildings uh, the curtains in, inside it pulled. Uh, you can see they've definitely vandalized the door. You can see portions of the door has been kind of paint has been thrown over it. Um, a lot of rotten food as well throwing as they've gone past. Yeah. Um, and you can see that definitely, yeah, there is, there's been a bit of a, uh, 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 an almost kind of attack against her shop. Um, they haven't smashed anything. They haven't kind of damaged it beyond that. To a point where like the secret keepers or guards would get involved but it seems like people who go past spit or they throw anything they can at it mm -hmm. as you're kind of walking towards it you see people kind of looking at you one of them says i wouldn't shop with her she's the reason that the, the city's gone into a mess recently really oh. of course how do you know you don't understand she's ancient no. Probably a god hiding. Okay. Well, Do you think throwing anything. paint at the shop of a god is the is a good idea? Yeah. You think spitting on the floor of a shop is a good idea of a god? Seems like a pretty you know, silly the thing to do. No, they and they are mad, right? <clears throat> Why don't you give me an intimidation check with charisma? I mean, it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, hang on, can I get here? You want me to help you? I've Plus I mean, I, mean, you, you, I think I think Lena should make the roll, but it's up to right. Joe. Yeah, you can. Yeah. I, I, I I'll, I'll help Lena do yeah, it with advantage because. Right. You know, also, Juno's not I intimidating. Juno's it. just like questioning, like, oh, that it's, seems it's more the, the intimidation. It comes more of a uh, yeah. uh, working into their mind, I guess. Uh, yeah. Twenty six. Yes. So you can go. Wait, hold on. They have a point. And you, see a couple of them, and you see one of the kids go, oh, I don't guess. What if they are a god? If they can turn you into a child, because imagine what they do if they get pissed off. <laughs> I wouldn't want to mess with them. <laughs> I get some paint cleaner, honestly. It's like kind of, you know, a few of them start kind of shuffling off, and then once the crowd starts to disperse, the rest of them disperse, and the guy you're kind of seeing you get. You should not chop there anything like this. It, come on. And then kind of moves off with one of the kids who just uh, angrily stares at the shop but walks off. Man, ignorance. Just Jun Juno actually kind of seems like actually kind of she was annoyed at those people. Like, ugh. Mm -hmm. like, and then, yeah, probably makes her way towards the, the store. Yeah. Let's go in. Uh, you'd head in. You'd hear like a little bell ring as you go in as well where they've kind of almost attached the door. Mm -hmm. It was a little bit crookedy where some people have definitely kicked it. And uh, it's a very cute old kind of shop with um, plenty of kind of herbs that are hanging and, and well tended to plants and pots uh, small space almost seems to be like a home kind of converted but it's still kept a lot of its homely feel wooden all the way through and you can see just behind the desk um, sat there just pulling these very tiny little stems or uh, sorry uh, uh, petals off of a, a flower um, with almost like a little pair of tweezers you see this rugged red hair um Beautiful and and kind of uh, uh, very kind of um, like rounded features and very kind of uh, welcoming uh, uh, face with kind of larger eyebrows. This woman who sits behind their chair, she kind of slowly pulling apart this flower. She looks up and goes, "Have you come to throw extremities or anything like that? Because if you have, do it outside, okay?" No, no. In fact, we. Kind of got the people out there to clear off. We wanted to come and maybe buy some things. Oh, and why would you do you. that? That part of the entertainment of the day. Oh, sorry to ruin your fun, <laughs> but we uh, can call them back. Oh, it would be that you do. They were just starting mm -hmm. to come up with such creative insults. 
Well, perhaps we can make up for it by, I don't know, spending some gold and earning you some coin or something. Um, I appreciate that. So you're not one of the ones who believes I've cursed the entire city? No. no. Good. Or bad. Should we? <laughs> oh, I'm very dangerous. <laughs> we can tell. Joe, can I use Divine Sense? Sure. Okay. Um... They're not celestial fey or fiend. Cool. Or undead. Or undead. <laughs> so, what can I do for you? Uh, well, first, I guess if uh, you have, do you, you, we heard that you were an alchemist. We wondered, we are, we are sort of travelers, and we often get ourselves into, you know, fights and situations, and and go on little adventures. Perhaps you might have something that would, um, we could buy that would benefit us, uh, ways to heal wounds or to give us, you know, advantages when we need them. I have a few um, something. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, great. I have a few potions and uh, and and other things that you might enjoy. You adventure. Like what? Well, <gasps> she kind of leans down under the uh, table, and you see she doesn't have potions. She has um, it's it's mostly crushed flowers. It's less so uh, a liquid based. You can see she has like almost All these right. little kind of um, they are little <laughs> glass compartments, but they're filled with like almost spices. She puts a little one on the on the counter. It has a bunch of like almost this, this slightly irony red color going through it. This you breathe it in. And he'll heal you. They are Shit, that's cool. standard healing potions. Cool. These are neat, like usually it is in a liquid, and yeah. it taste too good. Oh, I try to avoid all liquid-based alchemy. It's too easy to, to, to mix up or get the actual alchemy part of it wrong. And this seems much lighter to carry around. You don't need a glass exactly. bottle yeah. and liquid. If they slowly. break, like, it's not going to... Yeah. Potions often ground. struggle with heat or cold as well. You don't want one freezing and trying to pour back an ice cube into your mouth. Ah, oh, the super smart. Mm. I appreciate that. How much are these? 50 gold apiece. Okay. Do you have anything more potent than these ones? Yes. For wounds? Yeah, for wounds, but uh, also other things that do other things. Uh, but if you have more potent ones for wounds... Uh... I have a couple. Okay. Leans under, and you see them bring out this very fine, almost sand-like material. But you can see it almost like glimmers on the inside, almost like gemstones that are on the side. This is a sand of sharpness against your blade very powerful that that one will be 300 gold oh a sand it is a very fine sand above board because i'm assuming it's oil of sharpness very sharp yeah yeah cool. right. and i do have some stronger flowers that are broken down uh brings out another one uh for potion healing you'd be able to get a standard healing potion or you could get uh, two greater. They're 100 gold each, the greater ones. Um, and then superior one, superior, which is a 300 gold potion as well. Um, superior just, is the... I just like above board. We put out a lot of healing. I don't know if mm. we need potions so much beyond like getting someone up in an emergency, which also will be, like I said in chat, mm. like has good berries mm. constantly being produced now mm. for that purpose. <laughs> I don't think we need healing potions. I think we're more looking for utility goods. Mm -hmm. Sure. Fair. Um, yeah, they would... Uh, is there anything you were looking for outside of that? I can give you some other potions. Like, uh, they would have uh, uh, the equivalent to a potion of animal friendship. Uh, they would have one for, mm. I would say... Um, they probably have a couple of, of, of kind of like poisons you can put on your, your, uh, your weapons. Uh, they'd have a potion of water breathing. And then they have a general. This is just supplies for um, uh, for general alchemy. So if you need anything for components wise or anything you're looking for in that regard, do you have anything that would make the user 
totally silent or invisible. Uh. As in something you want to put the enemy invisible or yourself? No, no, the user. Okay. I have something that could make you invisible. It will... I have a question as well. Do you have any potions that could force someone to constantly tell the truth? Ooh, that might be difficult. But I could have one that will give you, allow you to tell if they are, or mostly make you much better at it. Perhaps. Hmm. How much is the um, your herbs for the water breathing and the friendship of animals? Just out of personal, entirely personal. The animal interests. ones are, are fifty gold. Uh, I have a two okay. of those. And for water breathing, it'll be seventy gold each. I would. I mean, I I personally would definitely like to get at least one of the water ones because of my my problem. Um, mm. And then also, I kind of want to get a little animal friendship one for Zipelli because you know it might be nice. <gasps> I just think Cut that's. Cut that too, Zipelli. Right. Yeah. So I I'm can going to make any of you friends with the animals anytime I want. You just haven't asked. Oh, oh, okay. I mean, they, well, well what, can you make me breathe water? Uh, actually, yeah, I think so. Oh. <laughs> Jaya's just like getting that, more and more well, irritated. Like, I'm so glad well, you came into like, my I shop. Can do that. Nope, I can do that as well. This is all garbage. It's all useless. <laughs> yes, I actually can make you breathe water. Up to ten of us, I honestly well, feel like I could maybe probably do. Perhaps then, um, you'd like to just oh. buy something else. Yeah, oh. but probably. Yeah, okay. Oh, Eldred, do you have something else you want to buy? Uh, do you have anything that's like would create a big distraction, something crazy? Like, yes, I have, like I have, a bomb? No, she leans, she leans down and she brings out this kind of small vial that's like triangular <laughs> and it's got almost like little fireworks inside of it. She places it on the side. Got yeah, like fireworks that made that. That's okay. You pop How much in the cork, is this? It'll shoot up. Oh, 20 gold. Honestly. I'll take it. That's cool. That's, that's fun. the best thing they've had over here. Yes, that one no is very really good. It's time, you know, different uh, different potions for different folks. It's... Do you do you have stuff that's not like um, do you have like components and stuff too? Like not yes, just an yes, actual yeah, like mix. Um, oh, cool. Goes over do to you the have side teeth? And pulls down this little kind of um, this little <laughs> wine. Oh, so comes up. Oh yes, I've got teeth, of course. That's great. You do. Do you... okay. I'm looking for three teeth. Do you okay? They're kind of specific. Right. Do you like? Okay, I need like one that is a a kid's tooth that was lost, like not forcefully, like it just fell out. Oh yeah, I've got plenty. Yeah, of those. something like. Apparently, okay, cool. the market is very open for that. Oh shit! Right for kid teeth, that makes Are you total the tooth sense. Fairy? No, shit. no, that thing is terrifying. Okay, I need a kid tooth. Then I need a tooth from uh, an old part, like. Uh, an old person take it naturally like they died they took the tooth a dead person's dead tooth an old dead person's dead tooth dead yes. it was I was trying to find a nicer way to say I it I probably not, have like, one I mean, of those somewhere. yeah Eldred why didn't I ask you you might have a tooth right there sorry Jai that's rude it's fine. do you have one of like an adult that like maybe uh, got in a fight like it was taken oh. under the rest do you know no. any like provenance of your teeth no. <laughs> I have, I have, no. we'll have the young ones because it was people with... okay cool Hoping to. Well, that narrows it down. It sounds really cured. I mean, yes. I can just punch a yeah. guy and we can, you know. Yeah, that's, that's true. Okay, wait. Going to be really I'd love a kid tooth, please. Sure. Um, and she kind of leans up and just gets a little kind of jar, pops one out onto a little. How about. Thing, puts it uh, like a also, little cloth. Mm -hmm. Do you have um, bittersweet? I feel like that's pretty common, but I don't know. I could be wrong, right? Ah. Uh... I don't think so. Oh, all right. Well, that is okay. Bittersweet, I need it, and the teeth. And then I think I'm good. All right. Well, uh, she wraps on these kind of little leaves and puts two of them on the side. Add on an extra two gold. I got you. Okay. You can tell me in the in the comments, uh, in the chat uh, what we what you're actually buying. Uh, yeah. Just we're, we're over time. Um, yeah. If there's anything else. Yeah, I have one above, well, behind the scenes thing I want to ask with yeah. an insight check. Does Willoughby recognize this person? Uh, 
from like from just his sit, like couple of trips through burka is there any chance he's walked by this person and would actually recognize them i would say roll an inside check i definitely don't think it's something he's focusing much on but it's like a like in the back of it's his like head, in the back like of his head slight yeah. familiarity it's like as she's 25. speaking to him he's okay. like mm. not necessarily by face but there's something really nostalgic about the outside of the shop and now you're seeing inside you would have seen through the windows as well and mostly because burka by that point was much smaller and there was a woodland around here. This was the only house in the woodland. You have to go through a path to get here. And you start to remember, this is the local witch. This is the one who was awkwardly on the corner of town that everyone avoided. But it survived the test of time. You probably don't know this person. They probably wouldn't know you, but you'd have known of them. A witch of Berkham. No. Okay. Yeah, I don't know them for shit. Don't know me? Well, I don't know many Kavista myself. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what? You can have the tea for free if I could have one of those things on your growing off of you. One of these? Yes, I mean, that that's unusual, isn't it? Pretty it's unusual. just started. Yeah, I thought it was some kind of horrible disease. It might be. That would be. I would want to see if it was. I'd probably pay extra. <laughs> Here you go. I mean, I suppose like if somebody was going to, if you needed somebody to check you over, Willoughby, make sure you've got no. I am or, dying. Uh, I am well, dying. I'm, I don't need someone to check me over. Uh, I, th I assume that everything that happens. Maybe to this dies, kind lady can help. Maybe this lady knows Dad, something. Do you have stuff that can make you not die? <laughs> no. <laughs> We've covered this. They have potions. I'm dying of a horrible poison. You are. You know how Christia oh, work, right? Dying, just like You're going old. a little mad. Yes, I'm fairly aged. Watch yourself. No, he's saying that to Willoughby, not oh, okay, to okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, She's like being, about being old. He's like, watch it. <laughs> I see. I could take a look at you. Like a doctor. But honestly. That's what I was thinking. She reaches down, goes under the table, and puts this little bit of dirt onto the side. Put this under your pillow. If you sleep in one, or otherwise stand in it when you rest. This is a... Some of those fertile soils I have access to. Usually, if I have a dying plant... I'd put a bit of this in there, and next morning it would be fine. My best bet is that it might slow the effects. And it's reusable. Well, how much is it? Free. Cannot. Can't get better than free. Often Thank the you. plant life of this world is overlooked, and Kavista second to none. Yeah, we'll, we'll take it. Okay, I know we're about to go, but do you have anything that can make a horse stronger or smarter? You have anything to make like a horse like even cooler than a horse is? Oh, what if there's? You know how you could talk to animals. What if you can have something that the animal talks like? Do you know what yeah. I mean? You just give them. You know, you it don't makes it them it. more wise yeah. or you know more you know aware. Take an animal speak mm. common. Could probably make something. You do okay. not want Zapelli to be. <laughs> time. I'm telling you now, you don't want it. Listen, you can't tell me what I want, okay? <laughs> I could. You have to trust me. You do not want to be able to hear them all the time. But not all might. the time. It's what we're off, right? Tell you what. Stay in the city for an hour or so. Let me know where you're oh, going. Oh, we to spend the night. I'll go make something. Well, Will, I know? think we're staying the you night, know? so... I'm, yeah? you know, I'm telling you, it really ruins the experience what? of having an animal companion when all of a sudden, they start talking like this. Why you couldn't we just come back? Why would you need to find us? I mean, you can come back if you prefer, yes. 
I just assumed that you'd be people on the road. But yeah, oh, no, back tomorrow. To no, we can come back tomorrow. We'll come back tomorrow morning. I'll have something. Uh, It'll be untested, we'll... but that's the most fun. Oh, mm, no, maybe. We'll, okay, well, I'll come back and I'll see, and then I'll, you know, maybe I'll use we'll it. Maybe it I'll and and Willoughby, I don't know if that... I See, you're not very good Animal at voices. Testing. I don't think that's how Zapelli would sound. I don't think Animal that's how testing. Zapelli would sound. They'll be mm? paid. Do you know, the problem is if you... What? if it. If you don't enjoy what Zapelli sounds like, you're still stuck with knowing what they sounded like for the rest of their life. But it's the difference is, die. Juno loves Zapelli, you know, right? You don't really like Zapelli. You love them this already. You don't need to know how they I talk. did have one person buy a potion of animal friendship for me before uh, because they wanted to speak with their dog. And they imagined them to be quite sophisticated and well-spoken. Oh, no. Mm. Let's just say that they weren't the most eloquent breed. <laughs> it was like I a would mutt. make him. It's I have it. no such judgments. Whatever Maybe was just sleep on like, it. I I will sleep on it. Thing. I'll sleep on it. Do you know? I think you should do it if you want to do it. Well, we'll find out. I will let. I will. I will meditate. I will consult golden wisdom on it and see how I feel. Then come back tomorrow, and I'll have something for you. <laughs> okay. And if you do manage to get some of those teeth. Yeah. Uh, oh, the knocked out ones. Yes. Perhaps I would like to, you know, make a trade for some of those. Hard to come Do by. Do I note it? Mm. All right. Thank you very much for shopping. And she goes back. So pulling up the petal. Very slow. And as you leave her store, um, entering back into the city to go and find a place to rest. You... What tavern would you like to go to? What inn? Would you just find a random one, or would you go up to the crater rest, or would you go down into the other one? Which one was a better vibe? Depends what you're looking for. If you want one, one boozy kind of like parties and people gambling and that kind of you know atmosphere, or one that's a bit calmer and mm. quieter up on the uh, with beautiful views. It's like calm. I'm done with calm and it did it was the uh the cradle one had like really nice rooms and beds was it quite yeah. fancy yeah it's cleaner yeah, yeah it's Juno's much like yeah okay i like that one yeah, you get good All views right. across the city no, um, I'm, happy with, I'm happy with there. drinking and party but that sounds nice yeah i'm good with either you would okay go up to your rooms lay down for the night and rest up your minds and your body strengthening as you level up yeah. Hey! Okay. It's a secret. <laughs> she gave you it. fucking did it, dude. Oh, you God. did it. <laughs> <Cry. laughs> Sorry, we went over a little bit. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll end the tonight's episode there. And uh, we'll come back to kind of finishing up whatever you want to do in Burka before you uh, you head out northward again. Um, you are now level eight? Seven. Seven. Eight. Yes, eight. Seven. Yes, eight. Seven. Sure, eight. Seven. Eight. Seven. Eight. 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 Level eight. Seven. Dude. I always forget. I, always, I think you're level ahead of that, what you are. That's the second you've. That's the second time you've whipped yeah. it. I, I pushed it up by one every time. Um, but it's oh, because I got into my head. Oh no, they weren't that level. I was saying it was one lower before. Yeah. No. Um, Joe, it, remind me just before we go. If we roll a one or a two, you for take HP, the average. You do a. You take, take the average. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So you can roll higher than the average, but if you roll under the average, you take the average. Oh fuck yeah! I get evasion, baby. Fuck yeah! It's a good level. Um, nice. Well, thank you, Evan, for playing, as per usual. Uh, uh, let's go ahead and we'll do our shouts because I know I've, I've ran you guys over 15 more minutes. Uh, let's start with Gabe and go around that way. Hi, Gabe Hicks, Gabe James Games across all platforms uh, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, whatever the hell. I do stuff that is involved with games. That's a lot of stuff. It, it is. Them, it does them games. It's true, ah, games. Brizzy Voices. I do stuff involved with voices. Also That's true. true. Most no. places, but not TikTok and not Snapchat. <laughs> but most places. Yes. Most of the places. <laughs> Tomato. What's up? Oh, gee. <laughs> yeah, what's up? I'm OLG. Uh, you can find me on Twitter. I'd like to, first of all, before I say this, shout out Gabe for speaking our level up into existence. Now I firmly believe in the power of the secret, and if I speak my truth into the world, this will happen. So you can follow me on Twitter, because Joe and I are going to watch the next two episodes of Milf Manor. 
and I'm gonna tweet about it again. Oh my god! You should follow me on Twitter for that. Oh, yeah, it's true. action. Ridiculous. It's true. It's my shout out. Mark. Sherlock Humes. I'm not a detective. I don't solve crimes, though well. I do wish that sometimes I could be. Uh, that's, it. <laughs> that's what. That's what our piece for. Um, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. do want to make one. I want to make a wizard detective game. That's one That'd that's on my list. That'd be amazing. Be so awesome. O off topic, yeah. but uh, uh, James Gunn revealed what they're doing next for DC, and I wasn't excited by anything. But then they said they're going to make a Green Lantern oh. movie as space detectives in the style of True Detective, is the way he described it. I was like, that makes no okay. sense. I'm in. Um, yeah. So, right. Yeah. Anything like that? I'm, I'm space in. Space detectives. I'm good. Let's um, do it. Put your TV stuff. I do you know where to find me. God Forge on Sundays. It's just after High Rollers as well. Uh, come watch a lot of D&D &D on your Sunday. We're, we're late into the campaign. We've got only a few episodes left or so. Things are really ramping up now. Uh, so come and buy and check that out. Otherwise, on Wednesdays, I run a game called Snail Blazers, which is a speedrunning show for non-speedrunners. And next week, it's Diablo 1. Um, and I've got hey. some of my RuneScape playing friends in because it's, oh it's kind of similar. And so they're going to have some fun with that. <laughs> it's um, just like it. So yeah, uh, other than that, there's a Patreon if you want to see behind the scenes stuff, and there's a Discord if you want to go and talk about the episodes. But otherwise, we will be back next week uh, with episode 31 of Mistletoe. We'll see you then. Uh, take care, and thanks for watching, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.